Sony has 14. Microsoft doesn't really have an actual MMO. So yeah. Not exactly 14 either because it played on PC as well. But I, I get your point, though. You, PS4 and PC only. You're not playing it on Xbox or Switch anytime soon. So, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. I, well, actually, they got four. They got um, they got seven. They got the remake of seven coming out. Oh, they also have the, Crisis the, uh, Core next seven. remake and part two to seven. No, no, everybody's everybody's got Crisis Core. Everybody's got Crisis Core. Did you see how many things are getting released? I'm surprised the 3DS isn't getting a release of it. I'm still happy though. I'm still really happy. I thought that game would never see a re-release, especially after what happened so, with it. And. And we also know, um, so uh, Naughty Dog is basically turning uh, Last of Us One into into their Skyrim or GTA Five. Yeah, what is up with that? That makes no sense. Why? Why are they doing that? In how old is Last of Us One now? It, it came out at the late stage PS3, and I already had a remaster on PS4, so it's not like it's hard to find. They're just trying to there, build- there's literally no reason to do this other than to get 2013. Thank you, creature. 2013. <laughs> nine years. Okay. Okay. That's so. Well, nine, so nine years June, is not. It was <laughs> on June not, 14, 2013. Yeah. Nine. Nine years. Nine years. A remake does not make. No, it does no, not. The FF7 remake is the best example on why someone would need to remake something. Yeah, you have no. Oh, what, yeah, you have no. twenty. Final Fantasy VII has like twenty years. Yeah, though I'm not gonna count it as a remake. It's a reimagining. It is not a remake anymore. It's a reimagining. And yeah. that's the good thing about it. I have no complaints about the reimagining. I guess I guess they wanted to do that because um because for Yakuza, uh, but even then Yakuza Yakuza One released in. Oh, what? Oh, four. Yakuza was more of a remaster, though, than a remake. No. No, you're. it, it was a remake. I, I apologize on that. Uh, that would be Yakuza. Oh, it was 20. 05. It, that was 05, and that was 10 years after. Well, I'm just, I'm just thinking about it. They had it on PS2, and then, yeah, then the PS4, and they also upgraded the engine altogether. So, I'm... Um, yeah. No. What? Kiwami came out in in 2016, so that will be 11 years after. Yeah. Yeah, so, and give it, we have 2024, that will be like the 20, the 20th anniversary of the series. wonder if they're going to do anything for, the, for that. Well, you have, you have everything on PC except this, except that, except Ishun and, um, and Dead the Souls. PSP, De- Dead Souls and the PSP games. They had PSP Yakuza games. Yeah, they were Jap- they were Japan only. Uh, so, second, same with people. second, remember the PSP and PSP Vita were very popular in Japan. Well, I mean, yeah, I get they were popular, but I I just uh, surprised that um, I cop- I I missed that the memo on that one. If you want to play, if you want to play the PSP game. Hack a PSP because you would have to basically make it make a PSP region free unless you want to buy a Japanese one. There are easier ways to do that nowadays. Emulator. Yeah, pretty much that. I mean, heck, I my uh, my old uh, phone, my old smartphone could actually uh, use a PSP emulator. I I I tested it out by messing around with. Uh, uh, I think it was. Um, uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero, before they actually announced the PS4 uh, release of it. That was kind of funny. It was like shortly after somebody finally made a translation, uh, fan translation of it. It's like a, f- a few weeks later. Oh yeah, by the way, we're bringing this out to the US. <laughs> I mean, yay! But you, you suck for that. Oh yeah. Anybody? You were talking about the difference between like a remake and a reimagining. I guess in that in that way. Uh, they did announce like that. I guess th- that version that's of seven that's coming out. That's it's basically the original story. It's just just some it, basically I'm pretty yeah. much upgraded. 
Oh yeah, the uh, origins is it or no no no? Um, is that what it is? Um, not... I, I know it's apparent. I think it's got, Ever, Ever it's got everything, Ever including Crisis. like the Ever Crisis. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was Ever Crisis. PSP and Vita wasn't region. Really, it wasn't. Huh. I believe if it wasn't region locked, though, I don't think. Yeah, I think they. Uh, they. I would be surprised if they did actually. Well. Then again, I, just, I think I just wanted to do a quick. I, I'm kind of mm. bummed that Sony did kill the Vita because it was basically like the Wii U gamepad, only you didn't have to worry about limitations. You just had to worry about your network. No, there was limitations, and Sony's always want to kill something that isn't immediately heavily profitable. Well, that's the th yeah, because that's the thing is that like it's one of those things where again, Sony thought of something that. To, well, really, anything in the handheld market takes off better in Japan anyway. Mm -hmm. J Japan, Japan has J like with the way Japan's set up, it's you, you are like it's more likely you're going to get people that will sit there and play. You know, you know, will actually sit there and play chunks of an RPG every day, essentially on something like that. Uh, Ever Crisis looked like what they did with like the phone version of four, uh, fifteen. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? I don't know what to think of it, and I'm hoping that it ends up actually being really good, but I'm also, like, heavily fearful it'll end up like some sort of microtransaction hell. But that, that's my fear for any mobile game nowadays. Hon it's like, any type of mobile game is least, oh, uh, shit, how are they going to try to monetize the hell out of this? Uh, honestly, stuff like the Gundam Breaking mobile game, which, yes, is a gosh pond, but it's also like, hey... You get free stuff, and you technically don't have to do anything because they will give you parts as you play the story. Not the best I, parts, but... I'm not doubting that they'll give you parts. It's just that to what extent are these parts? Are they enough that you'll be able to play beat the game without like with um, reasonable difficulty? Or is it one where you have to go farm for every day for months on end just to be able to get enough to barely squeeze by? You know, how... And if you do decide to um, pay into it, how badly is the payout? Do you actually get to buy things singularly, or is it a random pull? Is it actually just cosmetic, or is it physical items that you need to complete the game, or even be able to stand a chance if you want to play against other people? Okay. What, so... What's the extent of monetization that okay. they're trying to pull, and the expense of it? Okay. The basic... And unfortunately, it's never nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is never nice, but with the fact that they add daily stuff and and I run out of like the in-game money that you use to pay for upgrading stuff before I run out of upgrade items. But I'm crazy and I try to upgrade everything at a low level because I've had my stuff built, fully upgraded, but I'm not able to gain in the next upgrade without paying and I'm like I'm going to stick it out. Why did I decide to do the try and do what, this? Are we talking? Right? Are we talking about PC upgrades? No, talking about uh, game. Uh, game I'm talking game about stuff. I'm talking about monetization and microtransactions and mobile gaming and so. Uh, in no, I just said fuck it and. If if the game is if there is a modded version since I use Android phones I basically just get that. That's fair, that's fair. Uh, but I play it legit. I use Blue Stacks on my PC, so I'm able to control it with uh, Wazda. Uh, and, yeah, <laughs> it actually, for when I got into it, it wasn't that bad on stuff. Heck, I pulled a very high-end thing, and I just had to level it up to its current max of, like... Two Japanese Vitas, both of U.S. games. My Japanese copy of Birth by Sleep works on the U.S. PSP. You know, that works it. That's well enough, though. I, Yeah, I think the only problem I have with those is you wouldn't understand what the hell is going on unless it's either just a simple action game or you are really good at reading Japanese, in which case, kudos. But yeah, that's well, that's the uh, problem of an RPG. Is, there it goes. It's basically just the standard. You get a pot, you upgrade it until you hit the max level. You can then tune it up to make it a higher rarity, and then upgrade it further by playing it or uh, using the upgrade components to level it up quicker. You don't have to actually grind 
paint if you don't want to, but they do have challenges that have unique pots that are better than what they give you in the story mission. So, 4 a.m. live stream. Um, well, Derpster, uh, I think it might be 4 a.m. for you, but for me, it's like 3 in the afternoon. Yep. Because that's how time zones work. Time zones are fun. Ooh, Japanese copy of Killstone uh, in native English. Okay, I love that. I love that shit. I love it when they actually make, like uh, like they did with Metal Wolf Chaos initially. Though, now you can actually, what the hell? Ha-ha! I finished half of this damn tunnel and that's when you decide to show up? Wait, half of this damn tunnel? It's still dirty to me. I said half of this tunnel. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to actually switch networks in my house. <laughs> oh my God. All I right, just, where were we? All right. I just wanted God, I just wanted to do one more quick run before before join before joining you in your thing. And of course and of course of course it's gotta be mm, it's gotta be fucking neckcraft. You gotta make me be careful around every goddamn corner. Yeah, every corner. Every corner. And of course I did this on a medium map too because I wanted money. <laughs> in a rich man's world. Uh, but no, seriously, I mean with mobile games, I want I want to believe that they can be good and in some cases they could be interesting and useful, but it just it just feels so microtransaction heavy now. It's it, they're not even letting you like give us twenty dollars and you can play the game on, on your mobile phone. It's like get, you can play for free, but oh god help you if you want to do anything in it. Yeah, uh, again the Gundam game that I play it Yes, it does cost money if you want to go for a specific Gundam, but due to the fact that they have constant challenges where you get basically free pots by playing it, it you can easily get a lot of good mobile suits that they go, oh, and you can be competitive. But you can't have the Gundams you want unless you're willing to pay for it. Unless, for some weird reason, you want one of the scrubbers, which, let's face it, nobody does. Hey, don't mock the Zaku in the gym. They are good I machines. will mock the Zaku as much as I hell want. I know, I know. Oh, but yeah. Unless it's the red Zaku, because apparently that makes it three times faster. Paint it red and it's three times faster. Oh, by the way, have you seen the Shaw McDonald's ad? I have. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I... Uh, in Japan, <laughs> Shaw Asnable is selling people McDonald's products. Char from Gundam? Yes. Yes. All right, I'm I'm going on YouTube. Let's see. <laughs> it's actually I'm actually slightly annoyed because it sounds it sounds like it would be really awesome for us, but we're never going to get anything like that. I mean, they get they get Char and all these anime characters, all this awesome anime characters. What do we get? We get some hip hop star we never even heard of. Uh... And all they're doing is just adding barbecue sauce to the fries, and that's it. It's like good. Get the um, get the McWhammy meal. You get a bar an extra thing of barbecue sauce, and it's ten dollars more. So hold on, this, for the for Char's meal, this just looks like my Char's fucking burger looks like what I usually order at McDonald's. It probably is something you usually order uh, at McDonald's. Uh, it's just a, the spicy one has actual jalapeno on it. That doesn't mean anything. It's it's probably the same that the same thing they're doing with the meals that we get over here. Like when what was it, Megan the Stallion? I think she just had chicken nuggets on top of a waffle that meal, was and that was the it. Sweetie meal. I don't know. I don't care. I I know. Yeah, I had it's, to live and work through it, so I completely it's just, understand. Yeah. Okay. It's wait, just, I thought that. Wait, I thought that was the lady that that did the stuff with Popeyes. No. Well, what, yeah, it was it Popeyes. Popeyes. Yeah, she had, she had like a spicy. A you spicy had sauce. To, Gordon Ramsay was McDonald's. Apparently, I don't. I'm not. Oh. I just have the T-shirts. Uh, I don't know, but really, there there's nothing special about the special meals other than they're basically like custom orders without the customization. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just like getting a Whopper, but you get a barbecue sauce on it, or you get a Big Mac, but. You actually get a fillet of fish that goes to the side. With, oh, no, uh, oh, a Big Mac had, with tartar sauce. People Big had Mac with tartar sauce. When we were doing that combo thing, and we gave them the two things, and like, no, you have to actually make the combo. And they're like, but why do you have that? Well, 
Well, it's a corporate thing of we have to make them and hand you the ingredients. You have to do the actual putting stuff together. Don't blame us. We're just the messengers. No, it's a simple thing of they they take they took the whole idea of the hidden of the secret menu and then they just literally corporatized it yeah. instead of just be. Which you know, I get I admire the spirit in that. You know, it's just like. Yeah, the whole idea is you get the thing and you make it together. We basically just told you how to do the secret menu without it you having to go online to figure it out. Okay. No, I I would have I would have spit nuggets if they actually did the McGang thing, which yeah, never going to happen. No, <laughs> that was never happening. Because of the title. Of course the title and the that, title that, and the application. It's about to say unless they unless some unless some celebrity comes up with a way that they can, unless they, they they find some celebrity that actually really likes to do that, and is and is willing to put their name onto it. Yeah, it's not. It's never going to be called anything else. <laughs> there, there's a celebrity out there that would mo be more than willing to do that. <laughs> there is one. They're just never going to do it because they know what it acknowledges. <laughs> that everybody knows. Everybody. You are not hiding that. <laughs> Everybody knows. Actually, speaking of fast food, uh, I got stupid lucky yesterday. Hmm. I found, I, apparently I defied all odds when an entire corporation is telling you that there are no more Wagyu burgers available and you still find one. Ah, uh, Arby's. Yep. Yeah. The burgers weren't bad either. Yeah, it's not, it's not terrible. I think the best... The best way to do that burger, because I'll be perfectly honest, the ranch for the bacon one was nothing special. I actually, re I actually really enjoyed the burger sauce that they put on the main one. Yeah, I actually uh, only got the main one, and I thought it was good. I, I like the classic. Yeah. Uh, so I, I personally I, enjoy the Obby sauce. I like that roast beef. Yeah, but uh, what I ended up, what I ended up doing was the last is basically for the last time that I ordered it, I actually I got the regular burger, but I just added the bacon to it. And that, and I think that's that was actually the best best way to do it. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be good. Too bad we'll never see it again. Oh, you never know, because. Well, who oh. knows? Actually, maybe maybe Arby's will make it more of a staple. But it's kind of funny how everybody and their grandma are going completely gaga over Wagyu beef right now, just because of uh, a bunch of uh, TikTokers and. Um, YouTube uh, cooks decided to do it for some reason. Yeah, because you know, mainly because I guess because American Wagyu is becoming a slightly more available. Is which of course American Wagyu is still absolutely nothing like true A five Wagyu for A five Japanese Wagyu. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I don't think the any American that's just buying from Arby's is going to have the finances to get an A five Japanese Wagyu. Have you ever actually seen a piece of A5 A5 meat? Yes. Oh, like holy shit. Yeah, no, it, it was amazing. I saw it and then I saw the price and I had to walk away. Though I had to wonder why the hell my local grocery store ha actually had that available. Unless it wasn't Japanese wagyu, but I don't I think it was. Uh, all I but, can yeah. truly say is is people will always go for a trend. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. People lose well. I gripe, but I know that I already know the answer. It's, just, it's I don't know. It's just I find it infuriating. It's like here's a five hundred dollar sandwich that we made that you never will be able to. It's like how am I supposed to enjoy this? This feels like flaunting. It feels like I spent twenty minutes flaunting your ability to actually afford a four hundred dollar piece of meat. Well, I'm actually going through clearance aisles for steak. What are you doing to me? Oh, okay. Uh, Thanks for reminding me, Josh. Not a problem. I'm glad to help. What I remind him of? That most okay. of us are relatively poor. The no, I might have actually reminded him of something important. I just don't know what it is. I, I'm guess I'm guessing a grocery store thing. Probably. Maybe. I mean, I, not, not that I'm complaining too much. It, it's actually kind of fun that I figured out how to make all of these different things with a limited budget. It actually enhanced my cooking skills quite a bit. I know how to do hash brown potatoes. 
And I can actually make steak sizzle and taste. Delicious. It's, I can make it immaculate. By the way, for your hash brown potatoes, do you cube your potatoes or do you just slice them in wedges and then and chop them? Uh, I currently cube them. Though, that, you know, usually hash browns are shredded unless you're doing southern hash browns. Wait, what the... F what the fuck are you talking about? My, all hash browns I ever get I ever get around here are sh are shredded. Shredded. No, yeah, you no, you got a you got a, a different kind of hash brown, which is um the southern the southern style where the, you actually cube them. I don't I don't know what su what southern you're talking to because Waffle House ain't ain't doing that shit. No, I think it's more of the marketing southern, not true southern. I don't know what you said. No place I did in the south. Cubes them. As I said, like, uh, it, it's probably some sort of marketing tactic to just. Are oh, there? Are... Oh no no no! I think they're called O'Brien potatoes. O'Brien. Those are diced potatoes, good sir. They are. They are. But they still sell them as hash browns in some markets, including my own. I think that I think I actually call they're actually called hash, so just plain hash. Yeah. Wait. So if it's if it's being called just hash, that's not. That's not a southern thing. That's that's like, that's that's always marketed as Irish, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I what do you want from me? I learned the recipe from Bobish. Nah. And I'm just happy I was I'm able to cook them competently now. Well, Bobish is fucking a New Yorker. That doesn't surprise me as much as it should. Uh, like I was about to say, there's. Yeah, so let's say there's literally an entire episode of where he's got he's got a he's got a guy on teaching him how to te teaching him how to do Cajun food, and he continuously keeps calling it Creole. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. That, that is a, like I, and here's the thing. I love Babish. I actually do really like Andrew Ray. Like he like he's like it's he's legitimately got some good got good content, and like there's and like just on the basics of cooking, he's absolutely like. He's absolutely spot on in a lot of just basic stuff. Like, like if you like if you want to like if you want to get better at ba if you want to get some tips on like basics of at home cooking and stuff like that. Yeah, he's he's actually not a bad resource for that. I'm one hundred percent behind that. That's how I that's how I'm learning more and more how to cook. Along with uh, jo with um, Joshua Weissman, though, um, if he keeps trying to have me call him Pop Pop Pat with Daddy or no Poppy Pat. Papa. Papa. Papa, yeah. Papa. Yep. Oh, I'm actually slightly inspired to try to make a uh, hokey bun. But if you, want, if you want the Creole. The fuck? Uh, the I hell? think dog. Oh. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. But... I. I kind of wish Isaac Toops actually made, did his own channel. I, I wouldn't mind. You know, most of my food training was just from family. Oh. Then, then again, I come from a line of German Italians that, that know how to make cream of mushroom soup into a meal. So, I might. So do so do any baby boomers in America. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. No, I, I. You know how many? You know how many cream of mushroom casserole dishes I have in my head because of my parents? Oh no, that I, means I don't nothing mean to me. I don't mean casserole. What? Well, 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 you're, well, you're from Utah. I, I am from Utah, so it's more surprised I don't have a thousand Jello recipes in my brain. Uh, yeah, I'll admit yeah, it. Because yeah. I mean, yeah, because yeah, again, again, think about think about this. Uh, like on the original Denny's menu. A dessert was literally just a bowl of Jello. Oh yeah. They didn't do really. The change of, yeah, they, yeah. They didn't change it to like the nineties or so. That, that, that's hilarious and kind of quaint in a funny way too. Kind of like dude, Denny's. I think Denny's originated from your state, dude. No, I think it was. I think it was California, actually. Yeah, I, I mean, I know KFC originated in our state. Try to figure that one out, but uh, yeah. Well, the actual kernel did originate in Kentucky, but the franchise came from your state. Well, yeah, I mean, you had to sell it somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna 
finished all this. Okay, yay! I'm al yay! I'm almost done, and I can I can actually jo I can actually jo join you for washing things. Yay! Yeah, the chain. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's that. Got these up. Okay. Danny oh, was talking no, about Harold no, no. Butler and Richard, Jazak no, Open, no. Danny's Donuts. Oh my no, God! It, it was Liquid like California. Uh, can <laughs> Colonel Sanders? No, nah, it actually it even started. No, it started in uh, Utah because his gas station was in Utah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kentucky Fried just probably was a way of making it sound fancy. You know, <laughs> you, we got chicken that's fried the Kentucky style. Not the Utah style, which probably would scare people off, you know? It started... the first, No, no. The first KFC of the chain started in Utah, so yeah. Oh, okay. The, okay. I sank it's, it. It started in Salt Lake City. Hmm. Yeah. They still have the chain there now. It's actually one of the few KFCs I've ever seen with an actual buffet. Panda Express is from Glendale. Yeah. That's so sad somehow. We yeah, all... We well, all well, I mean, yeah, Southern California is, uh, yeah. We I mean, Cal know. California kind of makes sense for a brand, for something like cause, well, because it started it started out I think as a traditional or like a, more of a traditional American style Chinese restaurant, if I remember right. So it was like the Panda Inn, I think is what it was called. I don't know why the fuck I read this. Tim Horton started in Orlando. Yeah, that not, is <laughs> silly. Wow. No, I, I said, really, I, Orlando. No, no. Nah, I, I had like I had the what's that? What's the um term where you can't read? I had I had temporary dyslexia. Yeah, dyslexia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had temporary dyslexia. Uh, uh Tim Hortons was. I, I yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. Florida. My, <laughs> you know, my, you know how many Canadians would lose their shit. <laughs> yeah, but they can also take Hawaiian pizza since that's from them. Hawaiian is not because of the fact that the pineapples came from Hawaii, it's because the dude was named Hawaiian. The, what? Wait, what? Hawaiian pizza was created by a Canadian. It was created by a Canadian cause, and he only called it Hawaiian because he put pineapple on it. That's literally it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not his name. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think there was a dude in Canada with the last name Hawaiian. Because people associate pineapples with Hawaii. Yeah, which um, which is a whole other mess altogether. If you really look into it, don't and, look into it. And originator across the bridge from me, five guys. Uh, I, 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 I love I love a good five guys. I mean, who, who doesn't actually love a good five guys here? Uh, Arlington, Virginia. Yep. The, the funny thing is, White Castle originated in my state, but there are no White Castles left. Kansas. Carb, okay. Carb is Italian grill. Guess where? You guys take a. You guys take a guess. Uh, um, Italian. I'm gonna just guess New Jersey. Suki, you. Oh uh, wait, what? Which thing? Uh, car, uh, Carba's Italian grill. Uh, Carabas. Um, actually, that probably. Actually. I'll be perfectly honest, that probably started in Florida. Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. Okay, so it is in the South. Huh. Okay, Suk uh, Suki State, Chick-fil-A. Well, yeah. No, that's, no, Greenbrier Mall. Fuddruckers is a, Fuddruckers is from Texas as well. That one makes sense. Yeah. Although, most, although they, they're start, although they've been scaling back. It is, I know there used to be a location here, and that's, that's been gone for a few years. Friendly's is is from the Midwest. The thing okay. is, the city that I am is both Pizza Hut and White Castle. All right, that is. All right, fun. all right. So I now have almost six thousand gold in, in the game. I am claiming this prestige point. Yay! Let's see. Congratulations! By collecting all relics, rare artifacts, and fully upgrading all tools, you've earned a prestige point. If you choose to claim your prestige point, you will receive a special insignia next to your level. Yes, yes, dick measuring contest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Digital dicks! Yay! <laughs> next to your level for everyone to see. In exchange, your player level and tools will all be reset to level one. You will keep your gold, lore, and ushapti, but your relic and rare artifact collections will disappear until you collect them again. 
basically to base you can keep collecting prestige points essentially. Yeah. So basically Bur Call of Duty. Burger Burger King is flawless. Alright, so that, yeah, that, claimed yeah, it. That let me, me at all. Let me host a room real quick. Let me see what it says. Oh yeah, it's it's got it's yeah, it's a little picture of a dude with a one next to it. Yeah. Does it do anything else other than just give you the digital dick point? Uh no, it, well, now I can basically go in, I can, um, like, I have all the levels of the tools available to me. I can literally just buy whatever I want at this point. Uh, oh, in fact, uh, did it? Oh, I don't even have to rebuy the comp. Okay, I don't have to rebuy the, re the lighter or the compass either. Interesting. Oh, so I have, okay, I, okay, I start out with level one of everything. I don't even, I don't even lose. Like, I, I thought I was going to have to rebuy certain things like defense items or to even start again so no you yo i so i still have my no, full my full amount of items Christine. yeah but yeah but of course now my yeah but i do have to work my inventory belt belt back up again which is exactly one of the reasons why i decided to save you know this much wait no way and it's cheaper oh so that's what a prestige point can do for you that's cool. again it's the good type of prestige. Well, okay. I, I, I'm still curious because, you, you know, a prestige point, you can just do it for the literal digital dick thing, but at the same time, sometimes they unlock little bonuses. That's why, I'm always, that's why I was curious. You know, we're missing a dragon, but the current dragon is having fun in an RDS with Starship, Starship Troopers. Oh, no. yeah, let him be. Besides, it's Starship Troopers, how often do, does a game from that come out now? Especially at RTS. Actually, oh, I'm wondering right. if it's related to that Starship Troopers map that used to be on StarCraft. That was a really fun one. All right. Uh, I don't know. Well, then again, I think there may be some Starship Troopers inspired maps in Battlezone 2. Battlezone Command. Get the actual All of this restaurants, but fuck you. I want to read, but fuck you, uh, Utah Tribunal. Salt hey. Lake Tribunal. I'm not paying $15 just to read one article. No, that's bad. Um, it's, tri it's Tribune, but yeah, no, I don't blame you. Tribunal. <laughs> what the hell? What do you think? Uh, yeah, um, I, I wouldn't doubt it. That is not the Tribunal. It. Uh, by the way, Circuit, I get. Uh, I guess I need to ask: Is your uh, is your game only two player? Yeah, at or? the moment, yes, but we can we can switch it up to a four player option. We just we're doing the two it's, player to try to get through the career things. Oh, okay. Because yeah. yeah, I know all the because I know all the special maps are all six player. So. Yeah. In fact, that's probably what we'll jump on. Uh, we'll get to the to the uh, special maps here. Yeah. Because uh, let me see. You're clean. Uh, because what are you what are you current what are you currently cleaning? Uh, subway platform. Okay, yeah. There's only three things after that. The All stunt. Right. Yeah, we've seen the stunt plane. The stunt plane's the end of, of the career. Oh, oh. Well, that, okay, that's cool. Didn't know that. I... Yeah, stunt plane is the end of the current career. I like the full release of the game is apparently set for July. We don't. I. They. Ha I don't think they've said anything about it. Possibly any additional, like career maps maybe being added, but. Wait, yeah. If you're talking about the steam, yeah, the steam lock. No, the steam locomotive is on the is on the specials. Okay. Steam locomotive, mini golf course, and the gnome fountain were all in specials. Yep. And he closed it on me. We're going to the specials now. Okay. Oh, okay. right. Okay. Uh, he's right. Well, and sir, off is on. At least I would say this. At least I can get some decent uh Mexican food at your place. Oh, Mexican yeah, there, there's so many Mexican restaurants around here. I, I'm actually really happy for it, to be honest, uh, though I, I, there was one really good one that was nearby. It was open for 47 years, and unfortunately, the pandemic took it out. It was actually a bummer. Okay. Yeah. But thank God, the only, well, aside from Taco Bell, I have, there's one place that I like going to. 
and it's a family run. Um, third, if I remember correctly, their second, their second or third since um, immigration. Mm -hmm. uh, se uh, third generation. But at least it's like nice, nice, authentic um, Mexican. Yeah, I have, to, I have to be careful though. Some of the some of the Mexican places aren't as authentic, or they do something to the food because it gets really salty. Mm. I used to have a place called La Luna that I used to hit every time I went to a movie because it was just a nice little treat there. Get get a nice little me nice little Mexican dish and go watch a movie. And last time I was there, it was just super salty. So I may have had to change, start changing that up, unfortunately. Wait, how do I do this? How, wait, how do I? Wait, uh, hey, wait, how do I change how I look again? Uh, go um, inventory clothing. I'm currently in the black outfit. Wait, is it under shop? Wait, is it under shop then? Because I so know I, can, I bought it. No, I, it, it oh, says it has owned here. No, it, it's uh, was it was a tab? No. Um. Oh, hey, y'all got Salt Lake has an Ethiopian restaurant. Let me. That's a thing. Hmm. No, 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 no. Whoa, no. Um, Help. Oh yeah. Uh. uh go, go to. Uh, who shop? Okay. Should do stuff. I think we might be limited on the equipment here. No, yeah. it's not the equipment. It's just the clothing that we're trying to figure out how to change. Yeah, because it won't let me change that. What the hell? Okay. Hey, if you have different things, that is just open inventory, click clothing... Okay, yeah, here's the problem. Where the fuck is inventory? You yeah, tell me you're that. Not, you're not giving us the inventory, man. You keep telling us go to inventory, oh. but you're not telling us where it is. So my home. Click on clothing. Oh, it is the. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm sorry. I apologize, Toa. It is right there. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. Well, here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, you don't need to apologize because he didn't say that until we basically told him where the hell to tell us what it was. Okay. Good point. We kept. <laughs> and I can't. I select blue, I'm in blue, and when I close it, I go back to black, so. <sighs> nope, I'm still in blue, my fault. Okay. okay, so apparently... Okay, so apparently I can't... Okay, so you can't go to any of the other versions of the... Of this... Of the Urban X2... Urban X for this map. I nope, guess you can't... You uh, can't the... get, oh, wait. Oh, nope, there it is. There it is. Really? I thought because it's a special, you can't uh, switch it, or am I wrong? No, uh, well... No, like I'm going to. No, 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 no. I as in, uh, no. I found the um. Oh, no, the found, uh, cosmetics. The yeah, I found the cosmetics. Okay. Okay. You know oh god, it's a zapper! It's a fucking zapper! I just realized that. You know, I, you've inspired me. I, I'm actually I'm 100 inspired here. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know half smoke fucking originated in um in D from DC. Oh dang it! Oh, we only yeah. got you only got the space. Well, you know what? It's cheap enough. I'll do it anyway. I, I clicked it and I didn't have to pay anything. Yeah, yeah. I will say, Circuit. There's a good chance that we may not, uh, unless they add more items. That I think what we have the career is it because I literally own everything now. I don't. Know that. <laughs> well, except for the specials, at least. Yeah. Well, shall we? We got a yeah, gnome. Right. Lock. We got a gnome fountain to clean. And of course we have we have un we we should have unlimited unlimited soap. I don't it, it limited on the soap when I started up the special, but since it's multiplayer now, it may may have all. I mean, admittedly, when I did it on my own, I didn't go down in soap. For some reason. Huh. It said it had, it had like three on stone and three on another. I could be wrong though. I could absolutely be wrong. You know, they might have up. They could have updated and hotfixed that. Yeah. Hmm. I, I, for, I would say right for, for some people in soft fried chicken and hot sauces for them, mumbo sauce and 
Mumbo sauce make goes well with fried chicken for DC. Mm. Mm. All right, you know what? Let's let's throw a fun one out there. Name one fast food item you think the entire world could do without at this point. It's just stupid. It tastes terrible. You don't know what the point of it even existing is anymore. Just play a fish. Know. No, that's for Lynn. <laughs> wow, immediately we're defending the Lint. Uh, and also for uh, Muslim. Burger King chicken sandwich. I think the chicken Here. fries. The, the original one. Those, the Impossible those. Whopper. Uh, no, I can see the Impossible I, I don't know. That, that's pretty good for... I, I think that's pretty good for veg, for people who want to go vegetarian route. It's pretty tasty. And, and it yeah, you know, kind of you know gives gives them an option when like everybody else in the group wants to go to Burger King for some reason. Yeah, yeah. instead of them just uh, hoarding all the fries. So and the uh, mozzarella sticks. Anything that I have actually given and like options for people who have issues with normal fast food. Well, at the same time, there are a, if the problem. I think that that comes with a caveat. Just because, yeah, some people have problems with normal fast food, but at the same time, the problems they have are kind of what exactly is the point of fast food. So it's, it, you know, you're, you know, you're kind of missing the point at, in some cases. Oh wait, right. I I I already forgot how to lock how to lock in place. See. Uh, see. Thank yeah. you. I looked it up and yeah, I found. Oh. Um, well, yeah. When I hopped into your thing, it gave me a tutorial. Oh, it did it to me too. It necessarily doesn't. Yeah, it was like the first time you played after you play after uh, one of the updates recently. It, it base it basically, yeah, it goes through the tutorial now. I, yeah, I'm happy for them. They're about to get it out of pre-release and give it a full a full on actual release going. Yeah, this is a fun game. Oh god! Oh no! I can't turn anymore. Oh god! This gets weird. This gets weird if you move. <laughs> it it, yeah, it, it, it does get weird. It's fun as hell. Team. No, I know, but still, that's just like it just feels weird. It almost feels like an it almost feels like it feels like an on rail shooter. <laughs> Alabama, from the aside from your incest jokes, I aside from incest jokes, I will give you this. You gave us checkers. Oh, so oh, checkers started there, and, and I guess we yeah, have because it eventually merged with rallies. Yeah, I have never been to any of those. I think it's a local thing, but it's south. uh. For either or it's Actually, mobile. Oh, in oh mobile, yeah, mobile, mobile, Alabama, yeah. mobile, Alabama, or Louisville, Kentucky. Um, hang on. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I think there might be another checkers that's in that's in Alabama. That's not the one that you're thinking of, actually. All right, looks like I already know one thing that we're definitely going to need to use the soap on at one point. Mm hmm. The uh, little gold things that are outlaying the uh, fountain here. Uh, yeah, you can also use like the uh, the, no the turbo nozzle. Yeah, the zero nozzle. Just I'm thinking Tur easy. Well, it's easy. The, well, the turbo one uh, also the the one that spins. Yeah, yeah, the zero uh, nozzle. That, uh, it, isn't that no, the turbo? Zero, no, zero, zero and turbo are different ones. Zero is straight, shoots straight. My apologies. Yeah, I gotta. I really gotta stop saying that so easily. It kind of loses its. Wait, where the hell did Taco? Where Taco Wendy's was? Uh, Wendy's was in Ohio. Yeah, Wendy's, Columbus, Columbus. You get you aside from aside from all the down. You get that and Burger Taco. King. All right. Oh no, Burger King was from Jacksonville. Again, still not surprising it's in Florida. No, that's Tennessee. Oh. That is a Jacksonville, Florida, so I got confused. Is it? Yeah. Is it Jacksonville, yeah, Florida, or Tennessee? Yeah, it's Jacksonville, oh, Jack Florida. Jacksonville, okay, Florida. There is a Jacksonville, Alabama as well. Right. Yeah. I still find it funny Florida. that there's a, Mi there's a Miami, Tennessee, or something like that. Yeah, there was another restaurant in Florida that was called Insta Burger King in Miami. Mm -hmm. 
Anybody else want to do something really stu- I, I just thought of the dumbest thing, and I can't help but wonder if anybody would want to actually do something so stupid, just for a joke. Sure. Um, come, come out with it. Come out with a burger chain called Mr. Burger. I think that existed already. Uh, it no, may have already existed, good, but... Good, well, yeah. the, the, the whole joke is the whole Simpsons thing between Mr. Plow and Plow King. You put the Mr. Burger next to the Burger King. Aside from that, the fair, the old, the the original, our the ori our original uh, past record before Chipotle, Taco Bell, what, uh, Dari, California. Yeah, no, that, that doesn't surprise me. That that kind of makes sense, cause. Oh, oh, you you can turn. Okay, you can turn in this view. You just get you literally got to like point your gun, to the left and right. Okay, Popeyes chicken up. Which uh, Houston, Texas, I believe. Nope. Uh, Popeyes is is New uh, Orleans. No, uh, you know what? That makes sense. Wait, they actually did what start is? New Orleans. I thought they. Yeah. I thought. I thought they start. I thought it was somebody in Texas that was trying to get that. Again, I think they're. I think they're cor I think they're. I think their corporate is in Houston now. If I remember right, I think that's what it is. Corporate is in is in Houston, but um. 1930s, 19, oh, whoops, 1972, it originally was Chicken on the Run. That was Al, Al Copeland had it called Chicken on the Run outside New Orleans. We're just laying all the fun stuff today on. How about Church's Chicken? Uh, Church's, I, I, I think that still started in the South somewhere. I want to say, I want to say that either started... I want to say that that either started in Mississippi or Tennessee. Yeah, I'm going through I'm going through this USA Today thing. So let me if they have Church's Chicken, I'm gonna see. Uh, Subway was. Uh, uh, I think that British, you know what? I, I'm gonna give British, I'm gonna give Subway a random one here. Um, I'm gonna go Fort, Connecticut. Oh, I actually I was gonna go with Maine, so Connecticut isn't wouldn't have been a bad. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts is Quincy, Quincy, Massachusetts. Oh, that one's yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we the first guess would have been Massachusetts for that. Um, but I, I'll be honest, I would have said Boston, but yeah, which I think actually Quincy's not too far from Boston, if I remember right. Well, it was a um, Fallout Boy, so yeah. See, about there's already there's one that we can that I could say and everybody already knows where it came from. All right. Which one? I'm not even going to fucking. Starbucks. I'm not even going to fucking pronounce. It. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this correctly, but Domino's is uh, yep, honey, Michigan. Yeah, wait. I think it's I, th I. I. You know what's funny? I literally watched a video from the Try Guys today. Like the, he did, he did his eat the menu for Domino's today, <laughs> and uh, I think it, I think it was Ypsilanti. That's what it is. Uh, we could yeah. get CMC in here for a better pronunciation since he is a Michigan. Uh, I, another. I, I... How would you eat the menu of Domino's though? Oh my god! Well, remember, he, he's the thing. He doesn't eat. He doesn't eat like the. He doesn't eat everything of every item. Like he's. It's basically like taking a bite of like every single thing. And apparently, yeah. the, apparently those shoots call those shoots take like eight hours. Okay, that total. makes a little more no, sense. Okay. Because you gotta eat a bit. What, let it yeah, he also. Out. Yeah, he also. Yeah, he also brings in other people at, to kind of just have little banter bits as well. Ohio has another one. They have they have Arby's. You know that doesn't surprise me. All right, Lance allowed to get up this sucker. Uh, go back to the van. It probably over there. You know, I got a dumbass question. Anybody uh, still have a Quiznos in the area? Um, yeah, I do. I haven't. I don't. Checked. I don't anymore. All of the Quiznos we've ever had are gone now. It just dawned on me that I don't know if Quizzles even exists anymore. Essentially. Well, we do have Google Man here. Okay. I mean, it wasn't a bad concept. It's just, you know, you got to have an alternative between toasted and non toasted, and you pretty much were required to get it toasted over there. Uh, Church's Chicken, San Antonio, Texas. Huh. Huh. You know, I honestly Never believe that. 
Okay, what did you say? What did you want me to look up? Uh, Quiznos, does it even exist anymore? I'm gonna just type in nearest, nearest Quiznos. Mm. All right, I'm at the top of the gnome. Yeah. By the way, I'm just clearing. I'm just clearing away the main, the main level of filth here. It's. I'm, I'm, to... I'm. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not anticipating that I'm yeah, getting fuck. rid of everything on this pass. I had a brain fart because the fucking restaurant is that. Is that um that missable in where I am? Uh, qu the quiz nose is a mile away from my house. Okay, oh, so, so it does still, still exist. Yeah, I can walk. I, yeah, I can just walk to it and get a toasted sub. But right beside it is the subways. <laughs> of course, it is. Just open. Just go. Go to the next door and get better. Get better things, or or I could just walk a bit further and go to a fucking firehouse sub. Oh, firehouse subs. I I, I really want to get a couple of their their um pickle barrels. I think that might be fun. Yeah, they. Yeah, I don't know. The last time I got Firehouse, I got I. I ended up being kind of disappointed. I swear they changed the they changed the chili, and it's it, it's worse. Well, it could have just been bad chili. I also recently got Jimmy John's. Ooh, Jimmy John's. Is oh yeah. Oh right. And I was also gonna say like because at the same on the same order, I got I got their meatball sub. I actually enjoyed their meatball sub the last time. Like some like again, yeah. I think they changed something because something didn't taste taste the same. This time around, so I, I can't say for 100% certainty because the only time I ever get firehouse subs at the moment, just because it's a hell of a way out of my way, is um, when T Mobile is giving it has like a free sandwich thing going on, like they did last week. So, yeah, I don't mind it, I just think, uh, yeah, it's just not something I want to go out of my way for. Then again, so again we do have dining options when we go to to Everfree. <laughs> yeah, you have the option to eat food or not. I kind of wish, like, um... Actually, like it's not that bread. bad. I'm just making... I kind of I I wish, kinda wish Six Flags Better Fits kind of still were in threat, even if you're not a, not an employee. It's just if you work for them at any point in time. Wait, who was uh, for Six Flags in my in Maryland, their thing. Uh, I guess I was screeching. Uh, their thing is what they do is you get half off of a season pass. Oh, uh, speaking of which, did, did anybody hear about the idiot? Uh, the idiot that um revealed a did a big uh, uh eating secret for Six Flags. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, there, there was a TikToker that um, talked about a special thing that they've been doing with Six Flags where if you get a, like, you could get, like, a year-long um, meal voucher, which is expensive up front. However, it, get, it got you, like, three meals a day, and you could actually mm -hmm. just go into Six Flags and get it, and at the long run, it actually ends up being really cheaper than even going and getting food normally. Yeah. The problem is yeah. that after they advertised it, guess what happened? They it stopped it. Well, a lot of people started doing it, and they got rid of it. So, yeah, they they completely botched that. Yeah, people forget that if it, that if you put something out there like that, it like a bit like in like big deal sort of way, then yeah, you're just you're basically gonna ruin it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also. Like how... yeah, no. Sorry, go ahead. You, yeah, you pretty much you expose the loophole. It ain't gonna last much longer. Yeah. Another one happened with Disney, where if you wear it, what would happen is if you wore something offensive at Disney, they or you wore a T-shirt for another thing like um, like maybe Universal Studios or something, they would actually give you a free T-shirt to wear over it because you know they didn't they didn't want to kick you out, but they obviously you know didn't want you to wear other things like that. And yeah, I guess what happened when they advertised that. Disney realized they had to just suck it up, you idiot. <laughs> well, now they do, but yeah, no, they they no they no longer started giving out the free shirts, but yes, it's like you guys are idiots. Why? Are you no, no, no. For a few minutes of clout, you ended up completely destroying something that was one of those little trade secret things that you just whisper to family and friends. Yeah, no, it's the thing of also Disney keep doing that, but this time just give them like the extremely ah! dusty ass shirt. Still, no. It's still a free shirt. 
No, you give him a butt ugly one. You have the these horrible ugly ones that like it has like a disjointed Mickey Mouse and it's no, really no, no. cheap fabric. Give them this prince. Hi, Lunar Star Pony. How's it going? Uh, have you been enjoying the uh, what? What was the um, for Ferocity? Uh, the Ferocity uh, convention. Oh, yeah, that's short. Uh, Ferocity convention going on. How's our favorite Canadian? Well, a lot of people are showing up right now. Hey, short. I Sai, are you available next Sunday for Borderlands? Yeah, for reality, knew it. What is what is next Sunday? Um. Okay, if to, I believe it's us. <laughs> I believe it's a day. Uh, if today's the nineteenth, add seven on to that. That would be the twenty-sixth. Yeah. Uh, stay, huh? Oh yeah, it it it, it would end on uh yeah. I'll probably be out then. Break time. That, yeah, I, I'm guessing it probably... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, Wait, I'll what? probably be out the house during that time. During, during, during that. No. Oh. Yeah, fair enough, because if you have anything with fireworks, it would be going down then. Look at I'm asking this just so we can plan accordingly. No, I... I'm not questioning that. My my I'm just my brain's just trying to go five different directions no, and I'm trying that. Where was I? He's just trying to pressure wash stuff. He's There's gonna that wash. Too. He wants the to wash stuff. So uh anyway, uh yeah, Lunar Star, I'm guessing that the convention itself is probably gonna end uh, relatively shortly since you know, usually um, with any conventions, even online one Sunday is just like a really sh uh, kind of like a half a day kind of situation usually. Uh, by the way, second, did you see that, uh, 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 I always forget the actual name, but, Ponyfest? Or, Burning Man. The, Burning Man, I believe. He was uh, some I don't know about Burning Man, but I know Ponyfest had a, had a, uh, kind of a collaboration with Japan Con, with oh, the, yeah, okay. so that Pony, was, the Japan was, Con, yeah. yeah. Japanese Pony Con? Yeah. Yeah, the Japanese Pony Con, yeah. So... Could look at some of that stuff via some clips <laughs> from YouTube. If they have any, uh, it did look like it, it looked like fun what I did catch. Yeah. Don't you yeah, know. I was just wondering. I was just wondering if it was ending early, like most um, three-day conventions on the Sunday. You know, usually like uh, with uh, Everfree or Trucon or things like that. Sundays they have their closing ceremonies at about 5 p.m. and then that you know that's about it. It's usually that's like, they only do, like, half a day of the third day, or not as much on the third day. You know, just kind of oh. a wind down. Mm -hmm. Unless it's something like Dragon Con. Uh, <laughs> no, well, that's because know. that's because they take advantage of it being Labor Day weekend. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Some conventions know how to use, take things to advantage, and it's wonderful. Uh, my oh, thing. so, oh, they're going full on 930. Nice, okay, okay. Cool. They're, they're still going till the they go till the end of the night. Actually, okay. it makes sense. It makes sense. In change, some cases. change that started in my state. We have Genos. I think I've heard about that. I know it's Italian. Uh, they do burgers and chicken. It was started by an Italian. Sweet. Yeah, pro probably probably something that's mainly up that mainly up there in the northeast. Yeah, I know you don't physically need to go home. It's just most people start to wrap things up because the next Please. week happens and you got to actually start getting ready for work and life. Even if yeah, even an probably... online convention. Okay. Yeah, it's probably a combination of the also, people. That, yeah. A lot of people that are going are probably winding down for the. To begin the next week. Well, By the way, short. Sure, I hope volunteers have to do the same thing. Short, you better be ready. I got, I got more mead ready to go for a trot this year. <laughs> okay, yeah. if you, if you have, um, you know, fifty most iconic fast food chains by state. Um, no, if you heard of Lito's Pizza, that's originated from my state. Lito's Pizza. Um, how's that spelled? Just to, if I think L E D O. No, oh, I haven't. No, no. 
I thought you were talking about another one, which is like um, bi like Big Red's Hamburgers or something, which apparently uh, they also have pizza there or something. Like that. Cold Stone is Arizona. That's ironic. Cold no, actually, no, it makes sense. I mean, what, why huh. not an ice cream place in a hot place like Arizona? Here's the thing. I didn't know. And it was, it was a, and, yo, uh, Chipotle opened during your birth, during July. Ooh. In Colorado. I want to make a joke about, of course, I want to make a joke about it making sense just because Colorado um, did legalize weed, so they need so they needed some for all that is, weed. Okay, I it, I'm I'm doing like a um the I our our iconic restaurants by the state where they originate. So you have Connecticut, Delaware, Delaware is wings to go. Yours, Suki's is Chick Fil A. Hawaii's is Zippy. Uh, no Zippy, idea. No. Probably, probably something that's mainly in Hawaii. Yeah. Idaho is a place called Moxie Java. So I'm guessing probably a coffee place. Sounds about right. Illinois. Huh. McDonald's is Illinois. Yeah. Well, probably the franchise, remember. Because the original... Yeah. Yeah. It probably start. It probably it probably did start in Illinois. To be honest. Uh, no, no, yeah, no. It no. It started in Illinois. Ray Rock was from California. Yeah. I Indiana McDonald's has Indiana has Steak and Shake. Yep. I thought the McDonald <laughs> Brothers started in California, but I could be wrong. Wait a minute. Let me hang on. Let's let's uh, let's go with. Wait that wait that's McDonald's.com. Give me a second. Right. I get. Uh... I had to Google and appear. Anyway, hey, Lunar Star, the uh, charity sounds fun. I'm, I, I'm actually, uh, no, I shouldn't be that surprised. Charity, there's always a good charity auction at the end of a. Actually, season. yeah, then. Actually, yeah, then, yeah, that, yeah, that. Never mind, yeah, that, that, um, yeah, that, that, uh, that article is wrong. Yeah, I'm going. It's yeah. It's Richard wrong. and Maurice McDonald started in San Bernardino, California. Aha. Yeah. They rechristened re their business into the hamburger stand, later turned the company into a franchise. The franchise. Okay, the Golden Arches logo was introduced in uh, at Phoenix, Arizona. 1955, that's when Ray Kroc came in. Uh, and he proceeded, and he purchased the chain. Had it mm. Okay, so apparently... Okay, and I think after that point, they their headquarters were... Their headquarters were in... Were in Illinois. So it's headquartered in Illinois. India, I'm also going by like iconic food. This article is iconic food chain by state. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So ba yeah. So it's yeah. So it's it's corporate. It's corporate. It's incorporated in Illinois India, now. Yeah. Iowa is a place called Mid Right. See, Ferality so, chose Save a Fox. Oh, uh, not not Ooh, not nice. Mid -right. Made Right. You have, oh, you have Kansas. Kentucky has KFC. Mm -hmm. Even though it, even though it originates in Mormon country. Yeah. The franchise originates there. Just because it originates doesn't mean it doesn't hit, it doesn't have, have the bigness. I mean, KFC is like huge in Japan during Christmas time. Because only, only because of, only because of a rand, of a random, only because of one franchise owner just deciding to push an advertising campaign that that one Christmas. We're, <laughs> yeah, it worked. Mir it worked wonders, and at the same time, it, I do admit yeah. it. There is something fun about getting a sponge cake and fried chicken for Christmas Eve. Yeah, because like, nice yeah, because that, that was, yeah, because I mean, that was a gamble on that guy's part too. Like, yeah. basically, it, the I think from what I understand, if that hadn't worked, KFC might not have even might not have even lasted in Japan. Mm. Also, the uh, funny the funny thing of a KFC. Colonel Sanders statue cursing a baseball team. Oh, oh yeah. The, the, the oh, um, oh, S S Suki, is the game supposed to be up on your screen right now? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, I thought I already had yeah. it selected. God damn. Of course, no, yeah. of course, Sam. Yeah. Oh, apparently, yeah. Apparently, I guess I guess the person who was who was uh, watching me wasn't here. 
Yeah, anymore. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a shame. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I have saved. Okay, so I don't. Okay. So that was the other thing, is I thought Power Wash was one of my saved inputs. Ah. Hmm. Uh, huh. Okay. Yeah, no, that would screw yeah, stuff yeah, up. Yeah, I probably, I probably cleaned it up. Yeah, I probably cleaned it up after a while. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm that is pretty awesome, Luna Star. The, the actual uh, one of the charity heads, not well, not heads, but one of the uh, peoples of it, actually got into VR chat to um, to thank everybody. That is awesome. I, I love it when they're willing to jump into places like that. Yeah. Oh, kindness should be rewarded with that family to thank you. It should be. Doesn't necessarily mean it will be. I understand that. I'm the murder myself. You are not to murder yourself. You are too precious to this world. <laughs> this is the only way I can get my inventory back. Murder yourself then. Kill yourself okay. and do it quickly. Okay, back. Where was where was I at? Uh, uh in Illinois. No way you yeah, were. We, 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 we got sidetracked on KFC. Yeah, no, 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 no! I went to camp. I was at, I was at the K. So I was at Kentucky, being well known for that. Uh, Louisiana's Popeyes. Maine's is a ice cream place called Guilford's, which dates to the 1800s. Oh, that's that, That's impressive. I'll take that. I just thought of a funny one. I should look up. Okay, for another another one that originates in my state in DC, Jerry Subs and Pizza. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's a hell of a common. You know what? No, that's not as bad as a combination as it was back then. Nowadays, because well, I was gonna say, because hey. like, yeah, subs and yeah, subs and pizzas being in the same place is not that un, un uncommon. Not but, anymore, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Uh, Massachusetts has Dunkin' Donuts. Like you, like I said earlier, Michigan is. Is uh, known for you when you think Michigan is Domino's. Yeah, somehow, somehow not Little Caesars. Hmm. Mm. Uh, given the fact that CMC <laughs> does any Caesars has their iconic one. I yeah, Little Caesars is from Detroit. Yeah. No, yeah, well, yeah I get it, but I... yeah, but I, I mean, least... it seems like I, Little Caesars isn't exactly iconic anywhere. It's just like everywhere, and that's it. Minnesota Dairy Yeah, Queen. but it had to begin somewhere. No, I, I get that. Oh, I, huh? I, didn't I was gonna. I, I, I just, I just remembered what I don't think is gonna show up on what someone's huh. looking up. But I, I gotta give know, you. I didn't know Panera was um, is Missouri. Missouri. Yeah, originally yeah. Panera Bread originate originally was the St. Louis Bread Company. Oh. Okay. So here's 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 one for you, um, because there's a bunch of weird name places like this. Hey, give you give you guys a guess on the origin of the re chain restaurant Boston Pizza. Okay. Not where. You know what? Let, let, let me think of something random. I'm gonna think um, Tucson, Arizona. Uh, uh, no, given that it, given that it, given that it's short, bringing this up, I'm gonna go Montreal. Yeah, I was, I couldn't think of any uh, Canadian I'm going places. With Vancouver. Mm. So Toa was the closest to Edmonton, Alberta. Ah. <laughs> We've got a couple like this. We've also got one that's called East Side Mario's. I forget where it is, but it's like, it's all New York themed, and it's a Canadian one. We also have one called New York Fries, which is the same deal. Well, at the very least, short, you don't gotta deal with the Ray issue with pizza joints like New York does. Okay. Here's the thing. Thank you, Ted Turner. Ted Montana, Ted's Montana grew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's Georgia. Uh, actually, no. No. Ted Montana Grills, which is owned by Ted Turner. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Not Georgia. Co first one open Columbus, Ohio. Huh. Ah. I'm surprised. 2000. Yeah. But it but it's Montana given like that's Ted Turner's um Is Ted Turner from Montana? No, I no, he's no, he's southern as hell. 
<laughs> he is southern as hell. Um, the, the, but uh, you know, he, no, uh, Ted Turner. But I think he, what it is is he does own land in Montana, and yeah, he and yeah, he is big on like, but he is big on like uh, raising bison. That's like one of the big things about Ted's Montana is that you can get like bison burgers and stuff there. Mm, the bison, bison burger, burger is fucking while, good. While technically uh, raising animals to be used for slaughter, technically help saving American bison. <laughs> so, Nebraska, uh, the Godfather's Pizza. <laughs> oh, Godfather. Oh. No, it wasn't Godfather's. Um, there, there used to be a place called Ambassador Pizza that my dad would get pizza from Like every time we were a kid. It, it's gone. I, I don't think it exists anymore. Nevada is PT's pub. Oh, a neat and fun thing in my hometown area. Apparently, there was a beefalo ranch where they had cows and buffalo. I know it's you know, awesome, but you know. I'm I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting close to my uncle's um home state, but first New Hampshire, Moe's Italian sandwich sandwiches. Uh, sandwiches. Oh yeah, hey, here's here's a here's a good one for you for you guys. Uh, most, most, most Southwest. Ooh. Where, it, where do you think that started? Probably somewhere in your area. Seattle. Yeah, frickin' P, frickin' Chicago. Piedmont Avenue in downtown Atlanta. <laughs> 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 wow, so, some of these places, I just honestly, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, New Jersey, a a place called Bimple. Bimple. <laughs> Hoboken, New Jersey. Wait, was it Piedmont Avenue? It's uh, it's somewhere in Atlanta. Yeah, I I know that, but it's yeah. It's it's a sub shop in Hoboken, New Jersey. You know, I would have thought the Cake Boss's uh, restaurant, sorry, Cake Boss's business would be there, but I understand he doesn't run a restaurant; he just runs a bakery. A place called Blake's Lotter Burger comes from New uh, New Mexico. New York has some um, Sabro. The Barro, yeah. Yeah, Sabaro. Arios. Wait. So I, I, was, I, I, I looked it up earlier, right? And so technically, New York fries did start in New York, but it was a single. The deal was it was a single fry stand in New York, and a couple Canadian guys bought the Canadian rights to it and started oh, a chain. I have to ask my, I had to ask my mom on this, but. Apparently, North Carolina is where Bojangles starts from. Yeah, nope, that's right. Uh, North Dakota, space a place called Space Aliens Bar and Grill, or Grill and Bar, opened in '97. You know that does not surprise me, given it is the Dakotas. Ohio has Wendy's. Yep, that's their iconic. Oklahoma has Sonic as their iconic. Yep, that's very, very much a a Midwest, uh, south, Southern West. Hey, give me that. I actually, I actually miss the fact that there's no Sonics around me anymore. I actually, I actually, it, like, it, like it, it wasn't something I went to a lot, but it was like, like, for, it was like if if you wanted a ch if you wanted a chili dog, that was that was one of the best ways to to satisfy that. Oh yeah, and and also you the have. Drink the drink combination is legendary. That's the one I was looking for. Funny enough, so, I have like I have three of them within like a five minute driving distance. Oh shit! Uh, uh, I have or at least two within driving distance of me. So, so aside from that stump of uh, Gravity Falls, Dipper and Mabel would be going to Papa Murphy's. But they would be bringing home the pizza to bake. Yeah. So, I just remember. Uh, Pop of Murphy's is yet yeah, taken bake. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's Pennsylvania. a Pennsylvania there's... has Ocean's. <laughs> oh, that started in Pennsylvania. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I guess with a name like that, that no, no, that's that, that the name like that that does that, that sounds kind of <laughs> no, it kind of no, no. I think about it, it does sound kind of like something Amish, doesn't it? <laughs> there. I think the I don't know if the soap is still bugged or what, but it's yeah, it's letting me use the soap without it diminishing. So I'm I'm now clear cutting. And, I think it, and, it might be the host. It might be the host. Yeah, Ann um, Beller, Ann Beller, the founder, the founder of Auntie Anne's, started at a Pennsylvania farmer market in '88. Okay, 
All right, so circuit. So okay, all the red, all the red is off. Like whatever There's, that red bit layer was, it's off. So we can pretty much just see all the hard shit now. Is fucking Rhode Island hot as shit? Nice. What do you say? Uh, Rhode Island, their iconic thing. Fucking Dell's frozen lemonade. You know, given the fact that they are. Uh, in an area near the sea, the humidity would be very bad when hot. Yeah. So, I don't know. The one, South Carolina. The one, it is. So, the, what I was going to mention earlier is a friend of mine took me to sh sh introduce me to an interesting restaurant that, when we were down in Dayton, Ohio a while back. Hmm. You guys ever heard of Raising Cane's? Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. they, opened up, they opened up one somewhat nearby our place here. So, um, Schoon and Discord were actually to the original Raising Canes before he started the chain. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Also, it's got an interesting menu. So, its menu is like, I think I described it, it's like the um, Ford Model T color options. You have any color you want as long as it's black. You can have any food you want as long as it's chicken fingers because that's the menu. Chicken fingers, you can get a large, medium, small chicken fingers or when I was there they had a chicken sandwich. That was it. Which is okay. just chicken fingers. Hey, right, just shove those, shove those fingers into a bun and you gotta... Yeah, I get it. Hold yeah. on. Let's keep going because we have a few more states to do. South Carolina, Denny's. Denny's? Um, I don't yeah. I doubt that. Originated, I doubt that. originated as a donut stand in 53. Actually, I, I'm sorry, just really quick. Um, okay. Short, there's some something we're absolutely going to have to do at one point before leaving Trot this year. What's that? I absolutely have to visit that Waffle House down there at least once. You know <laughs> what? I you never what? have. Not once. I'm... For the southern state, I am fucking surprised. Well. I have not seen Waffle House on this list. I don't think I, I can't remember whether I've been in a Waffle House. Or well, not. that's be, that's because that's because uh, honestly, that's because. Well, here's the thing. Technically, if for Waffle House, that'd be Georgia again. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Waffle honestly House. it was it was pretty. It took the pandemic to file to finally stop seeing two Waffle Houses on almost every interstate exit. Yeah. There's Waffle House. Is oh, nature was in the south. <laughs> Waffle House is show oh, up a lot in the south. Oh. <laughs> oh no, dude! If you're in the stuff, it's a thing of if Waffle House closed, something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Though a friend of mine, while we were at Raising Canes too, and doing a bunch of other stuff there, somebody pointed at the, the guys down at the guys down at Dayton pointed out something to me, which is for some reason every chain exists in Ohio. Do you have any really? angles? Because you know what? No, no. I, I, I don't you know. know. I don't live in Ohio, but <laughs> you like, know, I feel, they, I feel they like they have the micro center. I, like, I feel they like, have like the furthest east micro centers. I, 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 I can I challenge. Have, I can challenge I, Ohio with one thing. I have micro centers down here, by the way, sir. Short. I, Virginia, okay, so Virginia, they Virginia have, further east. No, Virginia has a micro center. I'm just mad because I have to fucking go to Virginia. Aside from that, the only one in Maryland is on the up. Is on the opposite side of my fucking state. You guys at least have micro centers. I don't think there's one in all of Utah. I haven't that's checked true. my area. Uh, um, I actually do like the fact that there are a homegrown team of computer people here called River Computers, and I've known about them almost all my a computer owning life. Uh, you know, I, I want to. I want to. Like they're in Virginia, though, and I want to yeah, throw one out there to discount. I, I want to throw one out there to discount Ohio. Do does Ohio have an In and Out? Yeah, find out. Wait, no, fuck no. They're not In and Out's not far. Uh, isn't this far? That's, uh, exactly. It, it, I don't think it, they have an In and Out. So no, it, I think the farthest east that In and Out's gone is Texas. Well, actually, there was an in and out considered here in Kansas, so... Yeah. And Basically, yeah, in and out has... Yeah, in and outs had, had the mentality of not going too far 
just because they don't want to stretch their supply chain. Mm -hmm. Makes which makes sense, but I am curious yeah, though. Then again, they do have the option to buy from state producers. So. Yeah, we have, yeah, we have a few more states. South Dakota and it, uh, their iconic one is the milestone, the millstone. Look, from what I'm looking at, their menus just sent. Sam sandwiches and soup. That's not bad. Tennessee crystals. Sh oh yeah, crystal. Grounded. Yeah, crystal. Yeah, crystal would have. Crystal did start in Chattanooga, I believe. Yeah, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. What? Which, yeah, uh, which no. by the way, by the way, here's blast. Here's blasphemy for dr for the drunk people. I prefer crystal over White Castle. Fuck off. No, no. no. <laughs> it's not no. the drunk people. It's the high people. Yeah, well, I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah, it's when you fucking high as shit. You go, to, you go to either that, and yeah. Texas is Waterburgers. Which you know, it's, it's, here in Kansas, at least last yeah. The funny, oh. yeah, the funny thing, the funny about what a Waterburger. My my uh, my grandparents used to live in Texas. My uncle still does. I've been there so many times. Never went to Whataburger once. I remember seeing Whataburger advertisements. It's up here in Kansas. Never have. <laughs> Don't know if Arctic. I ever will. Utah Arctic Arctic Circle. Oh yeah, Arctic Circle. Oh, such good food. Oh, I love Arctic Circle. It's too bad so many of them have shut down recently. Originated in from the 1920s. It's an ice cream shop. Really? You know what? Actually, that makes sense considering the name. Uh, in the U.S., a total of 60 something. 60 something locations. Oh. Vermont, Ben and Jerry's. Of course. That, ma that makes too much sense. <laughs> we have Cole come in and be like, dude, I can get Ben and Jerry's easy. The rest of us are like, uh huh. For a pint here. Oh, I can just yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah, there used to be a Ben and Jerry's shop in, in, near me. <laughs> like, 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 literally, I could have like a place where, yeah, I could have actually gotten the Vermonster and something for Pete for a group, but no. Nah. So, can you five I, guys? My, I, which is my burger church. Talk shit, I will punch you. I would never talk shit about Five Guys. No, Five Guys is decent. The only thing I would say they give too much all the fries, but even then, fries can be a snack. All right, as we all as we all know, Seattle, Washington, Starbucks. Yeah. Home of the always burnt fucking coffee. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I thought I thought it was home of the no longer coffee shakes. No, I no, I yeah. no, I completely agree with Sai on that. The regular coffee always tastes burnt to me. Yeah. Okay. It's it's whenever I like, yeah, it, it's yeah, the only it's, time I ever put sugar and creamer in coffee when I get it from Starbucks. Yeah, like honestly, uh, honestly it's weird their espresso is fine. Their espresso is fine. Like, you just straight espresso drinks. Like, even if you don't get, like, the really fancy shit, like, you just, you actually manage to get, like, something that's just straight, like, you know, the, the, the you know, like, steamed milk and, you know, the steamed milk and uh, espresso. Espresso, it's actually tastes fine. Like, I especially actually really like the blonde espresso they do. Virginia has Gino's pizza and spaghetti. Okay, right. good. I well, got that done. Okay, and here's something that I deal with at work from time to time. A certain set of people always order this. Iced coffee with espresso in it. Yeah, that's can, good. Can McDonald's even do that? Yes, yes, we can. No. I stand corrected. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, what, is that, what is wrong with that, though, then? Well, it's mainly the fact that it's like, why are you putting espresso in your iced coffee? It makes it warm. Uh, yeah, you don't need to put a hot espresso. You could put a shot of espresso in it. Yeah, it's yeah. hot. I think it's just one of those cases where they might they be using the espresso. They might be using they the just... espresso to well, actually warm up it, so it's not too cold, and at the same time, get a nice little caffeine jolt. Like, I was about to say like that's the... that's just an extra that's that's an extra hit of caffeine on top okay. of the. Here's uh, a restaurant that I, yeah. that I that I that I heard across with other friends, but never actually seen. Culver's. Oh, yeah, oh, Wisconsin. Culver's. Wisconsin. I've, 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 yep, that's Wisconsin. I've seen Culver's. Yeah, yeah we, we have seen Culver's before. I think, you can get them, I think you can also get them in, um... Fucking... 
The place, the place with, well, I forgot my U.S. state names. Just ignore me. Yeah, uh, well, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I actually have a few here. here. Oh. Here's, yeah. here's one that's circuit. Yeah, Cul yeah, Culver's has made it all the way down to Florida. Basically, basically, they 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 pretty much went down I-75 all the way to Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also over here in Utah, yeah, and a couple near truck stops. The, the hamburgers places. are not anything to really write too much home about, but oh, I love the custard ice cream. Oh yeah. You can, oh, take pints home. you can even take pints home with you. It's it's all, yeah, it's also it's also one of the few few ways that outside of outside of Indiana you can get you can get a pretty good uh, pork tenderloin sandwich. You know, I never tried the pork tenderloins. I have to get that. Uh, yeah, last... that is that is a staple in Indiana. That is absolutely and, a staple. And the last, all right, the I got last all of the outside gnomes, the decorations. The, basically, the outside of the fountain is clear up. Now we just got to start getting the insides. And the last thing, which is probably oh, only circuit thing. A Taco John for Wyoming. Oh, I have had a Taco John. I heard John has good tacos. I, I honestly, with Wyoming, I would wonder what would be iconic. Or the, yeah, I guess a taco place I never heard of would fit the bill. I got a Taco Bell, John. Actually, what? what a, speaking of which, Taco Bell. Did, did Taco Bell ever come up in that list? Probably not. Or a spot was taken by a more iconic. I don't know. That'd be funny so as like... hell. It, ta he, ta Taco Bell literally came into, it came out of nothing. Taco Bell so, is from the Infinite Void. So I looked up really the list of. Surprise? I looked up the list of. Um, I looked up the list of chains out of Canada or chain restaurants from Canada, right? Mm -hmm. And there's one that's funny, that wouldn't make sense to most people, but if you've had it, it makes. If you've had it in both Canada and the U.S., it makes more sense. Which is A and W Canada. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, because it's hey, actually a different restaurant. Hey, Akechi, how you doing? Really? Yeah, thank you for the nut. And yeah, and so, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so pissed. The, the the a KFC near me used to be a combination of KFC A and W, and then the A and W part stopped. I was like, fuck you. I, luckily, I so, still have a few combos in my area, but uh, A and W does have some amazing burgers. I I would be so heartbroken. If also, also the fact, also the fact that I could get, also the fact that I could go into the KFC back when they had the giant like jug size. Oh, those jug! Oh, and, and you could get, and it had the A and W, so I could just get the giant jug of A and W root beer. Yeah, it was just like a, it was just like a giant barrel of root beer. Yeah. It's just an amazing time. Yep. No. But uh, yeah. yeah, so you, yeah. Yes, I do see that. Yeah. <laughs> so on. the so the menu between Canada and the U.S. is completely different. The stores are completely different arrangements. They are kind of different stores now. Their burgers don't even taste the same. I I don't yeah. doubt that necessarily, but that's still kind of weird to hear. Though also, there's a third thing which I've found in a cup. I I know about directly in one place, and I kind of seen one in another place, which is there are also, um, I'm going to call them rogue A&W restaurants in the U.S. So there's privately franchised restaurants in the U.S. that have completely different menus, well, and are set up more like a restaurant. There's, I know of one in New York State, because Scoon and I visited it once, and wow, stuff there's really good. I think I might have seen another one in Michigan because it was an A and W. The thing I'll say about both these places, the reason I think the other one might be one like this, is they both still have all their car infrastructure set up. So you still drive up and order from car stalls if you want to eat in the car. And if the and the one in New York, you sit down at a ta if you go inside you sit down at a table and you use a phone to call in your order. Yeah. There, there's some places that still do stuff like that. Yeah. But they but, uh, also, like, I don't know how many of them, but those ones, had, that one had a different menu, too, which was really nice. A big menu. Including yeah, I, chubby chicken still, too. Go ahead. Hey, you want? Know yeah. You, you want to know what's kind of funny? K, KFC serves best. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Popeye's guy. I'm Popeye's guy. Spice, Popeye's spicy chicken. Fight me. No, um, that, that's... Yeah, I, I got pros and cons on both of them, but, so um, I, I don't got I don't get a preference just yet. KFC has some, Southern Fried Chicken. KFC has some which good is parts. Another Canadian chain. Yeah. 
I honestly want to try raising canes and see if that might end up actually toppling the two. Raising I want to try Obama food. fried chicken now. Yeah. So, so Dixie Lee is a different like. There's they the batter and stuff they use is really different from like Popeyes and KFC, and their stuff's really good. If yeah, I at least the ones I, in the Maritimes. You know, if I go to China, I'm going to go try that Obama fried chicken. <laughs> Obama fried chicken, yes. <laughs> but oh yeah, but yeah. By the way, what, actually, since we're since we're talking about Asia, Asian countries, actually, you know what's funny? Uh, if you if you want A and W in Japan, you're pretty much only going to find it in one place. Where? Okay, yeah, Okina uh, Okinawa. No, that makes Okinawa. I would probably go to Okinawa anyway, just to try some you of the octopus. The, try the some takoyaki. Country for an anime. Oh, no, no, Okina no, Okinawa is the island that has the that has the American base. You know what that means? Actually, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, well, also, it's the fact that the yeah, Okinawans but, yeah. are not seen as equals the Japanese. No, they're, they're like the southern Japanese, if you think about it. Yeah, they're very like, different. Like, they, like, um, like, a lot of the, like, they, they like, be, basically the American influence definitely came in to there a lot more on that. They're the, because they're the Japanese version of Texans. Yep, but like, cause like, uh, because from my understanding, like they'll use spam and stuff as well. Oh, there, so they got uh, some Hawaiian in them. Well, remember again that came from that yeah, came from I, the the, Ameri I, I the American occupation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just poking some fun because it's. Kinda but yeah, but the. Uh, but yeah, but because uh, the thing is, is that you, actually yeah, because that's one of the few places you'll really find root beer as a flavor, because. Uh, the because yeah, root beer is not a popular flavor in Japan, at all. And I don't. Kind of doesn't surprise me because isn't root beer like a a version of sarsaparilla? That's what it started. I think that's where we got basically got it from. Okay. Yeah, I think root beer just is a different part of the plant essentially. Well, you know what I mean. I'm trying to recall my food history knowledge and. And that can be troublesome. Yeah, but ba it's basically like most, like, honestly, like, from what I've read, and this is, again, what I've read, it's not confirmed information, but it seems like major like most, like, uh, a lot of Japanese people think that root beer tastes like medicine to them. Uh, you know, considering it actually did start like medicine, it yeah. did kind of start as yeah, medicine. It, they're, there, they're not off the mark. Really I mean, think it, I mean, think it, I mean, think of it this way, too. The, um, think of it this way Coca Cola started as technically a medicine. <laughs> Every yeah, a really fun medicine had, too. <laughs> I just got it out as medicine. Hey, Jimmy, I if, I heard you found down dumps. Yeah, it was, but then I had some Coca Cola. Now I feel like I could do a hundred reports a day. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I don't care about that it. stuff, Jimmy. Why is is it addictive? No, you just you just don't want to think too much about it. <laughs> we gotta leave some for the missus <laughs> and the little boy. You know, is it, you know, little Johnny loves his Coke. <laughs> Oh, oh God! I I am a monster. <laughs> you are not a monster. You are stating facts, and you know it. Uh, I know, but I'm laughing at the stupidity. Uh, so, oh, okay, exactly. I, I'm fine. Remember this. Remember this. The people trying to take away the weed was high on cocaine. Wait, what? What? You know the. You know, back in the day when people were trying to make weed illegal? Uh, they didn't try. They kind of succeeded for a while there. Yeah. yeah. But the irony is they were having cocaine and saying weed was a dangerous drug. That wasn't exactly. Uh, in fact, uh, doing the re if he if there's a lot of talk and research. Uh, you know what? I can't say 100% for certain because, you know, I got it off of freaking... Um, uh, who, who was it? Um, Adam Conover. Yeah, basically, uh, it was more. Of a, it wasn't more of a case of it uh, being a, a bad addictive substance. It's just that they were more concerned that it was going to replace the paper, replace wood uh, for the paper industry because it was a lot cheaper and easier to produce. And you know, you're if you're part of the if you're part of wood paper, you don't want that because you don't have a hand in it. It's not wood. Yeah. It's not the stuff we're making, and we don't want that. So make it illegal. Which honestly makes more sense in a weird way. Uh, it's 
amazing how a lot of the stuff that's illegal. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. I mean, I am going off of somebody else's research entirely, and I haven't done my own. So, yeah, I, I am 100% um, admitting that I could be completely at fault. And I do apologize. 100% admitting defeat. Well, here's the thing. I will trust the man who says, I do not know, but this is what I think. But it's a man that says, I know everything, and I can tell you the answer. It's a man who is honest about the level of his knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's all right, a lot we're, of we're in almost the world here, guys. We're almost here. We're at ninety-nine percent. Let's make sure we get these last little bits. I'm getting the shelf up top and just taking a ladder and moving. Okay, I think majority. Yeah. Uh, did we ever finish? Okay, no. The lower. The, this needs something. Oh, it's probably on the outside. Yeah, there's a lot of like little white, little yellow spots all over along the bottom ridges here. Yep, I'm seeing that here. Yeah, there's some. I'm seeing some pretty big spots along here. Oh god, yeah, hang on. Is there any way to get it up? Eh, 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 eh. Let me up. Let me up. Ladder, you know. Shut up. <laughs> Let him yeah, have it. Deny your ladder and substitute my own. Let him have at it, Toa. This is how he does it. There we go. Yeah, fuck your ladders. <laughs> Fuck your ladders and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> oh yeah, I couldn't get that spot, so... On to the other one. Onward, Sicily! You know, speaking of places, there's one I didn't want to advertise too much because I was afraid something would happen to it. But something happened to it, so I guess there's not mu no, no point in keeping it quiet anymore. There, there was a small little smoke shop nearby my house. It, it was. It's just a small one, you know. I guess they had. They sold them both. Um, maybe. Um, what? What are uh, they called? Column bases. Uh, Wait. Oh. Vape. Wait. One of the. Oh, one of these column bases is. Uh, it's over here. I see. It's. I'm literally staring at it right now. There we go. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are we missing? Outer walls. Outer wall caps. We're missing two. We're missing six outer walls, actually. Oh, wow. How did I miss that? Okay, let's do this then. Alright. Oh, I got one right here. Alright, anyway, um, there was a smoke shop nearby. I'm thinking they, um... Oh, I think I snagged them by accident. Well, semi-accident. Oh, no, there's still some right here. Right here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, we still got the caps. So... Oh, another outer wall right there. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it was a play... I think that they, they sold, you know, um, basic the paraphernalia, the normal paraphernalia, your, um... Um, I want to say inhalers, but that's not the right term. I just don't, I can't remember vape. what they're called. E vape, yeah, vape, vape pens, alcohol, things like that, probably. I never went in it, so I don't really know. But you see, it, it, ha it was a small building with a forest, with a green roof, and it had the name Big Smoke. Did they have a number nine? A number nine large? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I put the two together after a while. I'm just like I can't help but feel like they made this um they made this joke on purpose. This was an actual reference, and I debated so many times on taking a picture of it just to show off. Uh, especially when when I was driving by there one day, there was a car right in front of me that actually had the CJ and um I forget the other guy, but the they had um San Andreas character stickers on the back of their window too at the same time one time it's just like oh my god okay. this is so perfect that i can't okay so oh that thing right there you're looking but... right at it, toa oh i see it yeah a couple of days though a couple of days ago though uh they took the sign off of the the they took the uh so, the um letters off of the building and the sign has been turned inside out so you can still see the lettering but it's obvious that they're not showing it anymore oh one Found of these it, right there Right while I'm looking. So yeah, I think they might. I think Big Smoke is gone. So now I can tell, talk about the joke because it doesn't. All right. Uh, and here's the cleaning of the gnome pool. Oh, 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 I actually have to open the tablet to to look at it. Oh. Nice. Oh, that's a nice update. And, look, and it yeah, actually I'm, just immediately runs. Just on top cleaning. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. I love that. Yes. Oh, it's even showing us using. It's showing one of us using the tab thing too at the same time. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. So now we got that special done. Uh, I'm gonna do this one because we absolutely have to do this at least before we finish up. We're going. I don't to know the if train, we'll get to the. We? We're going to the train. 
Rain. Sorry, Cole. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Somebody tell Cole. Let him know that we are literally scrubbing we're it. That we're, doing, that we're doing this without him. We're doing this for, in honor of him. Wait, power. Because... Oh, yes, we get the pro on this one. Fuck yeah. Yeah, we go, we're going to go completely nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, what do we get? Wait, what do we do? We get anything for cleaning liquid? Uh, oh, no, we get nothing. What? No liquid. No cleaning liquid. Wait. No, no, you get metal and wood. No, but it's zero. Yeah, I had that last round. Hold on, give me Wait, a second. is this actually working? No, it says out of metal cleaner. Yeah, it... So, no, it's not working, Toa. I, I oh. said it, I had something similar to it last round. Uh, unless, it should, it's, is it working for you, Circuit? Yes. Okay, so apparently the host gets infinite. Okay. I'll, I'll do a nice little spray around for everybody then. Yeah, I'll just go ahead. I'll folk, I'll go ahead and start on this side and just kind of. <laughs> Nope, that's uh, me. At the very least, I turned down my volume. I, don't, I can't help but wonder if there's something uh, screwed up with this, and it'll be fixed eventually. But I'm just, we'll keep, use it now while we can. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll definitely need the cleaner on, some, on more of these intricate parts over here. So, yeah, that's, yeah, I think, like, the wheels and stuff like that, that's definitely going to be going to be used circuit. All right. Well, I'm already doing a nice little spray down on the wheels over here and everything. I'll come back. I'll come do a second run around to, after I get the initial spray down done. Yeah, with the yellow. Because I, yeah, I am gonna have to rely on you guys for the soap. Does good for big stuff, but at, yeah, the really really small things you'll probably have to zero in. Like the soap, it actually the soap is would it really better for getting it re, like right in there. Really, I, it seems like I seem to get it like really good on the things with the crevices. It seems to have a problem with. Yeah, that's the term. I thought I was looking for crevices, the crevasses. There we uh, go. Actually, we're, we're, getting, we're getting through this train rather quickly, all things considered. Yeah. Well, it is rather well, it's easy. Yeah. Well, well I mean, helps. remember, it is also it is also based on a percentage of like actual like stuff on there, so. You know, you're so. I mean, you're getting you're getting a good percentage of like some of the loose stuff off. So, good point. Yeah, soap is really cleaning up crap. All right, I'm doing a second wrap around the train to clean up the wheels and everything. Let me know if I happen to miss anything too major, but I'm hoping that we at least get the worst of it out. What am What is not? What is not cleaning on this cow catcher? Oh, well, that that would be a uh, that would be an area that's not. Yeah, the sides. Yeah, on the sides, there's still some, like, dirt in the yeah. places. Uh, Maybe underneath, too? I'm trying trying to spray underneath it, but... Oh, wow, that is an interesting reflection down there. Oh, okay. Yep, over... on the Oh, on the underside of some of these edges as well. That are in some of the areas. Yeah. There we go. Alright, there you go. I just did a second right. man lead. Let me go ahead and do. Go ahead and go along the side there. Like yeah, circuit. If you take yeah, if you if you take your time going across some of those areas in there, like in these areas, it should it should get those cleaned off. It just some of the stuff might take a little bit longer, even for the cleaner to kind of yeah. get through it. Well, it's also because yeah. you're using what the metal cleaner. Yep, I am. Okay, well these are metal. Never mind. So. Oh no way! I know where I'm goofing up. I've been I've been going one direction instead of the other, so I'm not catching like the back end of some of these wheels. Okay. All right, hang on. I'm gonna switch off the extension here. I'm gonna get up here. get in here oh, come on come on Th no this cab floor is clean screw you 
This floor is clean. Fuck you. <laughs> that would be an interesting thing. This house is clean. I said this house is clean. Screw it. This Fuck this you, demon! <laughs> <laughs> I said this house is clean, demon! Fuck you! <laughs> wow, that'd be a hell of a director. There we go. Me. Why does that make me think it's a Tyler Perry movie? <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like Ma a Tyler Perry movie. Medea does the cleaning. <laughs> Medea, Medea cleans her house. <laughs> no, Medea, no, Medea the Exorcist. This wasn't there is... actually, wait, wasn't there one that did that? I thought I, I he did. Think, do, I thought he uh, did do one. Actually, I think that was two. Medea gets spooked, and Medea gets spooked too. Well, I know that Medea gets spooked, but I don't, was she an actually exorcist in those, or was she? Uh, I thought it was like just like a goofy Halloween thing, not like a joke on the exorcist. Kind of uh, it could have been many yeah. things because we have lost a lot of good parodies because of. Over par oh, because nobody knows how to actually make a good parody, and then so they're just doing a bunch of random jokes like a, a four, like a four chan board. Yep. Yeah. I thought I don't. Not that four chan doesn't have good jokes. Let's face it. The jokes come outdated after a week. You guys go through them like candy. Well, uh, let's also, see. you get tired of the women hate. I'm not going to be specific about that because I don't think that's everybody on Forge. I didn't say everybody. Let's see. Okay, come on. Come on, door. There we go. Now that door. There, that door has been cleaned. Um. Okay, and this uh, car panel is being rather rough because. I'm not seeing it unless it's very fine or it's underneath these bolts. Oh, wait, did I clean this? No, no, I didn't. Yeah, fuck you. You thought you could get away from me. Yeah. There. There we go. That's okay. You know, All this, right. this train sitting on this track reminds me of Railroads Online. I should really play that more with Paul. Then again, he is the one with the train already made. I uh, would just be helping him with tasks. Why does this? Why does this look like it's? These are loose pieces that I should just be like immediately blowing away right now. It, it kind of does, yeah. Apparently, it's the brake controller, but oh, okay. Those two walls are done. Oh, the furnace panel. Where? Oh, wait, is it? Oh, the gate. Okay, this box is. No, the oh. is here. This is Hang on. Okay. I need to. Okay, got the hatchet. Oh, thank, yeah. thank you for thank you for the mo for more nuts. So They're the uh, kitschy. Like oh. Whoa, boy, you really nutted there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. These pipes okay, the get clean. Oh. Okay, that's done. Um, not sure if there's anything else in here that... I think inside here is pretty well done. We'll see what happens when we get down to those last three. Oh, God. You're just cleaning the nuts I made, <laughs> made while driving the train. Dude, okay, dude, if you're dude, if your nutting session looks like this, get some help. Yeah. Like seriously, see a doctor. <laughs> get some help or get a OnlyFans, man, because dang stop, it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Such a dumb joke, by the way. <laughs> I wouldn't say steam 
Oh. Yeah, well, some of these parts there. This. This is from. This is from 20, 20 years ago. You know what? Now you know what. You know what? I I I feel like this is an argument about the about the science of how of how semen degrades over the years, and I don't think we want to have that discussion. No, Let's no, not, please. <laughs> this is a classy <laughs> establishment. <laughs> So Man, this is a Wendy's. Man, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Laughing about? So, uh, let's let's just say we were all agreeing that it's a, uh, a topic of discussion shouldn't be had, and then we just kind of we all made the Wendy's we made joke the same thing. joke, the yeah. same stupid joke. Yeah. Actually, I was going to say, so this is a Pizza Hut. We don't have uh, have anything with the hot. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my dog to actually eat. And the joke was pronounced dead had about five minutes ago. Hmm. Okay, so that that cab roof is still it still has something on it. Ah, over here. Oh wow, yeah. Okay. Well, I did. Oh wait, let me. There we go. Okay, cab roof is done. Okay, so that's done. Um. Oh, the wheel. Yeah, the wheels. Yeah, definitely. Wheels on the train need spraying down, spraying down, spraying down. Unfortunately, I'm the only one with some boy ground. Uh, yeah. I guess it's my the boy, Yeah, the boiler still has still has something. Yeah, I, I tried my best to get on, on all edges of the boiler, so if you could find it, it might. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm look. Yeah, I'm looking all right. Oh wait, there it is. There it is. I found it. Why is there a Nerf double barrel shotgun? They've had those for years. Oh no, it's Why just gone off. Anybody else think it would be funny if Nerf ended up making a sawed off shotgun with a bunch of like little tiny foam, foam pellets? Do you have any idea how much the parents would be on them for that one? I know, I know, but I have a feeling that at the same time, why, you know, why, wouldn't you be surprised if they did do that? But at the same time, they're not my kids. <laughs> they're not my kids. <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll be the I'll be the stupid uncle that gets it for him for their birthday. Here you go, have fun with little Timmy. I'm gonna go ahead and just get and get drunk. Hang on, where? Oh wait, there's a little uh, spot there. So I think just literally like right underneath the boiler, I swear is like a spot that that's an issue. Let's see, unless. Wait, is there something up top, maybe? Uh, mm, 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 mm. Come on, let me up. Let me up. Oh! I already see something right here I can fix. Wonder how they would make flamethrowers for kids. Uh, I, don't know, but you know, I mean, they did, they, they did make it. Spaceballs, the flamethrower. Kids love them. Nerf. Nerf war. The Nerf war crime. No, I. I think I think in that case it, it would just be a water gun. Let's face it. Also, uh, I'll be perfectly honest. A flamethrower for kids. Guess what? I guess what that happened. That happened in my in my football locker rooms. That's called axe body spray and a lighter. Yep. Oh God, yes. The kids became their own flamethrowers. Actually, that made that made it so much easier to take care of bullies. You just find the ones that smell like really bad axe body spray and light a match. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that, wow, that got dark a little bit, didn't it? Okay, uh, what the hell? I found a will, well pattern. Ah, oh, there it is. Got it! Uh, boiler's done. Finally got it. Alright. Okay, check. Okay, cab, fur cab furnace handle is. Oh, wait, cab furnace handle? So, wait, it's in here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the skirt, the skirt, the, uh, cold, this platform here, I'm missing something. Oh. Uh, check on top. Uh, okay, uh, that's done. Side. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, get, I got, I see some topping there. Um, cab furnace handle. Cab furnace handle. Where is the cab furnace handle? That's cab wall. Wait, is that this thing? That's this oh, there thing. We go. At the valve. Oh. Okay, that's done. What about this? Is this. 
You know, I need some work. I'm looking at this. Who remembers the Razor Ripstick? Um, oh, familiar. yeah. familiar. I think I remember that, yeah. yeah Pull isn't that thing where they just kind of yank at it? It's like, let her rip! That's Beyblades. No, no, no. It was, well, yeah, I guess it was Beyblades. Uh, was it the Taya thing? No, that's the one wheel. The rip stick is the, um, is the, is the, uh, two wheel skateboard that you basically <laughs> shift, shift one foot or one foot one way, the other foot the other way. Huh. Oh, yeah, that stupid thing. How do no. people not. How... Yeah, uh, well. Can't she? Beyblades. Beyblades was a toy first. Pretty yeah. sure the, the anime definitely came second. Uh, Actually, the anime. Yeah. The anime was, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking it's in America. Crap. Synchronized. I wouldn't think. Hang on. I believe it was synchronized. Okay. We're, nope. I'm, I'm researching. I'm not. I am not letting ourselves be be dumb like this. Yeah. Hey, okay. Beyblade. Hang on. Beyblade. Where's Where's Wikipedia? I, I will let Wikipedia be stupid about this. Here we go. Beyblade is okay. Uh, the spinning toy originally developed by Takara, first released in Japan in July 1999. Oh, along with its debut series. So, so yeah, it was, got, it was a Simo. So it, it, there wasn't yeah, a, a car. It in, oh, yeah, the the anime we got the toys in the anime in one. Yeah. So. You know what? The original weird. series is for. Because Metabots also came around at that same time. I think Winx Club also came around. Or we're gonna, like, in the early aughts. Yeah. We are the Winx. We are the Winx. <laughs> By the way, uh, hey, I do recommend the model kits for the Metabots that unfortunately. Oh, Winx Club was. The first air date was 04. It's still technically in the early stage. Okay, wait a minute. So. Toy Line was introduced Holy, Spy Holy Spies was L1. Okay. Oh, no, wait. The, wait. Okay, the manga series came out in in the same year, 99. Uh, anime adaptation aired on from January to December. Nope, the anime came later. The yeah. manga the manga started in the same year as the toys. Holy uh. Spies, one of my favorite shows, it, it was L1. Rugrats is 91. Totally Spies, I hope this doesn't waking something with it. <laughs> Let's face it, that's exactly what that show was. Uh, by the way, I found your problem. You found the panel? Yep. Yay! Yeah, but... yep. Well, we did the training a lot faster than I expected, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> we got about 10 minutes. Let's see if we can shoot the short, short yeah. cut the last one here. Yeah, just watch. Yeah, I'm just watching the replay here. <laughs> yep. And now on to this. You know, that's actually a fun thing that they did. I love that addition. That way it doesn't load automatically and takes 15 minutes. Huzzah! Oh no, we have this one. Okay. Okay, we got we got soap, so I don't know if it's the same situation as before, but Probably, I'll do my best. Probably because I haven't been able to use soap at all. Yep. So yeah, multi-purpose soap with all that fun stuff. Oh. Yep. Zero zero zero. Sheesh. <laughs> yep. So, you're soap. You're soap. You're soap, bitch. I am. I'm. I'm already getting bitch. to work on it. We're getting to work on it, but that means you guys got to start spraying. Suki, I'll go high. You go low. Boy. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh yeah I'm gonna I'm just gonna do the the uh the things the. Basically, if I see you spray if I see you spraying at one of these actual pathway, fuck you, circuit. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Besides, all the you got more of these floors on it multi-purpose anyway, so we got plenty of reason to soap them. Yeah, well, they're they're also not like these aren't these aren't like trouble like th it's ba it's just yeah it's trouble just space. grime it's just yeah. grime it's nothing like really heavy that yeah. really needs it. 
Yeah, I guess it's the trouble spots that we're gonna have the most fun with. Like up here with detail. Is the hole? Oh my god, the holes are separate. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cleaned the first hole. <laughs> Yay, I've cleaned my first hole. <laughs> <laughs> Had to oh, really get in there. Up, I found a gnome. I found a gnome wait, on the 18th. Wait, circuit, 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 come here. I don't think this is clean. Can you soap my hole? <laughs> <laughs> Your hole's all soaped. All right, thank you. <laughs> no problem. I'm wood cleaning this, by the way. Yeah, no, no, I just, no, I'm just doing, I'm just doing the actual, like, these things. All I'm right. going through these. The, much. Cor the, courses, yeah. the actual courses, yeah. Oh, the force! Oh, you're metal, you son of a wood knight. Uh, you son of a metal knight. Oh, there's only nine holes. I know, mini golf. I mean, yeah, there's. St I mean, still, there's some. There's usually eighteen, but. Oh, that is mini golf, so who knows? Maybe it's uh, mini in many ways. Yeah. Wait, who's the who's the? Oh wait, oh the ninth hole is up there. Yep. Okay. Damn. Don't have metal cleaner, so don't wait up for me on the metal stuff. I'm sorry. I'm as I said. I'm doing top to bottom. I'm just advising. I don't have a metal cleaner. That's fair. Okay. For oh well, yeah, that makes sense there. Suki, I'm sorry for wait, stealing what was I... up there. Okay, I think first hole is done. Yep. While you got while you guys playing this, I did this. Cool, I'll see you after we finish cleaning. Hold on, I'll take a quickie quickie gander here probably. You're you're you get you're getting yourself a quickie? Nice. So I guess just taking a cheeky gander. Ooh, buddy burgers. <laughs> right then? Where was I? Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, thank goodness the entire castle up here counts as one thing. And I don't know if I can get all the windows. You might have to. Might. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm taking this a different Oh my direction. god, what the hell? Ah, wait, I can't fit between here? Are you serious? I don't know where you at. Okay, no, apparently I had to squeeze harder, but god. That's stupid. It sounds stupid. Okay, come on. Oh, uh, second. Can you look at what I'm standing on and tell me what you think it is? We. Okay, that's cleaned. I don't know what I'm standing on. I don't see standing on anything. Okay. But you see what? It looks like a mushroom okay. and nothing else. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, shit. Whee! Oh, my God. I'm moving so fast. Wait. Wait, where was he? I'm up, up there. At the ninth. I'm here. Oh. The circuit when patch 1.8 comes out. Yeah. When 1.18 comes out. One, are right. we going to do Dragon Sorry, uh, could you repeat that one more time? I said when 6. Point Oh, huh, there's a closed beta for um, Disney Speedstorm. Are we going to do a uh, Dragon Sun Sung reprisal? I don't see why not, I guess. Where's my effort? I mean, if I can get into the place, I'll leave. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, I still got to sign up for that, be that beta before it's closed. Which one? What beta for what? Uh, the Capcom one. For uh, what? For six, you mean? No, 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 no. For uh, for the uh, new IP that they're apparently testing out, the like, it's like di like a Dino Crisis, but with with a lot uh, more insanity oh. going on. 
Mm. It was the one that they advertised in uh, for um, their little showcase last week. I, I'm still saying, I will still say they did. They're doing Ken dirty. Uh, no. Ken is basically not. She took the kids. Yeah, Ken, Ken basically got divorced. What the hell is that? Oh, wait. Oh, Ken. So Ken is straight up just not going to be in? Like, it's not that he hasn't even been announced yet or something? No. He's been announced. That, he's been announced. They gave oh, his backstory. His wife divorced. Yeah, yeah no, Ken, no. Ken's kind of. Um, Ken's, well, Ken's, 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 Ken's going through shit. He's got. He's become a bum. And he's like, no. Don't do that to my boy, Ken. Just he's was he, he's was never as popular as you. Let him have the wife and family, man. Well, yeah. What was what was it they said? What was it they said? So what they said on Castle Super Beast was Ken. The line they used was Ken had all his apes stolen. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I love it. I absolutely. There's that, and basically everyone, everyone is going to be fucking insulting Ken, as saying he's a washout. This is the thing. If this makes, if this is the like Ken and I version for Violet Ken, I hope he beats the shit out of Gao because you, you know Gao is going to try and shit talk him. You know, this gives reason for Violet Ken. You already have, like, since they want to do, like, a uh, Ryu uh, Street Fighter or Ryu Final is now canon. You had, like, Ken, Ken won against Ryu. At his, at Ryu's strongest. Uh, also, it's one of those things of, of let's be frank, people were gaga over hope of a homeless Ryu and someone thought, hey, what if we do that to Ken? No, please, don't. It was such, it was such the biggest bummer. It's like, no, don't do that to my boy Ken. He, he it's all he had. Yeah, he, he, he was the, uh, ri he was a rich playboy guy that actually had a loving family. Just like Ryu's friend and giving him the bum treatment. It's like, really, guys? You already had that one. Like, was it like, was it like two? Where the reason like he's in the tournaments is due to like people scamming, people holding Elena and fucking Mel hostage for 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 mm -hmm. ransom money, and he gave them money. Honestly, I don't remember what the uh, story behind all of that was. What two, two story was? But still, it's one of those things. Why are you making negative character development for a character that is one of your leads? It's not negative character development. It's uh, it's forced drama, but it still it's sucks. Like a, uh, let's go. Let's try and make it so we so we have um. What can you do? The man, the man's strength to his family. Take away, take that away from him. They took it away from him and gave it. <laughs> they took it away from him and gave it to Ark. No, just just have it like I beat, I beat the so-called world's strongest, and have it like canon that yeah, out of the two can. Ken is the reason why Ryu went oh, went on that second journey after the movie. Yeah, that, that actually would be better, simply because it's like Ryu, who was the strongest in the world, still lost. Okay, come on. That that is better char character development, showing that. Yeah, no. Even Godman can be man. Uh, here's another fun qu thought a thought then for everybody here. Um, yeah, here. The Open World Street Fighter 6. You know, yeah. probably the single, the also, single player is going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, also, I, I'd, I'd be okay <laughs> with that for single player. Also, for some reason, when he when he said Godman, I was I didn't think it was with, it's like, Godman, Godman, Godman hates Ken, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That would still work. 
Pick took his wife and his kids. God damn it. God damn it, man. God damn it, man. <laughs> is he God? Is he a man? Is he God that looks like a man? I, I don't know. I just like that whole dumbass okay, idea. Castle is done. God damn, God damn it, man. Yeah, this... God damn it, man. He pisses you off every way he can. He took his uh, wife and his kids in his man and has a tan. God damn it, man. <laughs> oh, by the way, have any of you followed Alex Fetch's thing on showing what status of practices sent him? Like that whole debacle? Uh, no. Okay, so Alex has released statements that he was given on Gravity Falls by standards and practices. One of them for, I believe, the Wax Figures episode with William Shakespeare that in the show was that was the dude from Kentucky, and that's all that was, but the original one was a man from, there once was a man from Kentucky, and just left it off there. And Disney went, well, people will try and curse this. Is, uh, I'll always do that. Mm -hmm. Dude, every, they, they, it's what people do. You're not going to stop them. They're going to curse anything, even if that it's completely... Was, uh, Alex... You ever see Sesame Street censor, um, censored Sesame, Sesame Street? It's hilarious, but yeah. it implies a lot. And... Well, uh, Alex said that, but Disney still, you know, was Disney. So, it's Disney. They're not, they're not going to listen. They, they're they're going to try to whitewash things to hell and back, and no matter what it takes... So I'm guessing for for six, since we're finally actually moving on from three, uh, Ryu has now finally learned all the teachings from Oro. Oro, or really? Now. Yeah, because if you take a look at his at for six, um, Ryu, the fucking shawl he has is like what Oro was fucking wearing. Yeah, that is neat. But a limerick that I came up with. <clears> that once was a man from Kentucky. Good night, everybody. Whose mood <laughs> was not quite plucky, so he said, and fuck it, and got a Kentucky. I know I should have said fucky, but I messed up in the middle of it. Once was a man named Toa, who thought he could rhyme and he couldn't. Neither can I, apparently. <laughs> yeah, but for the open world, yeah, that's fine. That's a new... Like, uh, you're talking about World Tour, which, where you're basically, I don't think you're going to do anything, but you're mainly, you're mainly going to be in fucking, um, in Metro City. Yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be one of those things where you'll go up and it either, either you'll have to load screen into the fights, or it'd be kind of neat if it was something where it could, like, just seamlessly tra transition into the fights. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be on PS5, there is a possibility they may be able to do something. But I, do, I, I, I do like the, like, the announcers. But we need we need street shoutcasters. We need the, we need like the street. We need the we need hood. If, there, if there's an option to choose, I want hood shoutcasting. But you want so you want this to turn in turn into Street Fighter World Star? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because this is the thing of entertain. Because one of the black one of the things for the black community we have we have fucking fighting games, and for the for the fighting community. Nothing. There's nothing better than when you're, f when everyone, if you are get, having a goddamn blowout, and you hear this. <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. Mm -hmm. second, on to said limerick. There once was a uh, horse named Second Pain, whose life was very much in pain, where he had an annoying bot who did not know when to stop. And yeah, he keeps making jokes about his name. I don't know. <laughs> yes, I did go on to the limerick, but then I did an A-B rhyme. I'm at least having fun with it. I can argue that. But he could also be spraying a castle. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm gonna leave- you know what? I'm gonna leave the dragon for later. It's in um, it's in fucking, it's in the, it's in the gaming. Okay. But yeah, uh, silent. I totally get your point of view because 
because I don't know the full community. I'm not in the fighting game community, but I can understand like the shout casting. See, I would love so much if they had if yeah if you could choose custom announcers, get a custom one that's based off of most extreme challenge. Oh, that would be awesome. Uh, Let me just the the appropriate amount of silly and fun, you know. Or, yeah, or maybe, or maybe do a collaboration with the WWF and do wrestling ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, do a collaboration with the WWF. That should work for great, Suki. No problems with that. No, his, no, no problems with that not being the name of the company anymore, right? Of course not. Yeah. You heard me. I don't. I don't know what the name of the company. Although, is. although, right. <laughs> Hello, right, right now, right now, yeah, maybe, maybe keep a little bit of distance. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. So, so, yeah, I'm, whoever the fuck said like, "Whoa, we're finally getting black, a black character in Street Fighter." We had it. Like, no, no, no. was like, no, but they just All rock. Wait, no, because the next, the next person in fucking six. The next um, American fighter in six w is a black chick. Yeah, it's like. So, um, did so you say? Did you, did you already did say? You, did you hear their yeah. argument? Yeah, Dudley is, is British. What about DJ? <laughs> DJ, yeah, DJ would count. Yeah, DJ would absolutely count. DJ's so Jamaican. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's not American, but he, so, <laughs> so. I forget exactly what the story was, but apparently Kotaku's argument for making that statement was that um, the other previous character was African African, so it didn't count. Yeah, you're <laughs> fucking um, stupid. That's called yeah. it's, called, it's called trying to it's called trying to save face and making it worse. Yeah, no, it's it's called maybe just admit you're wrong, not. Maybe it made you said something whole deeper and not try to save face, or else you're gonna look worse. Yeah, you can't go. You can't go blacker than fucking African. That's straight to the source. Silent is African American. No, no, I'm I'm pretty sure they're aware of it. We wouldn't be laughing this hard if. It, yeah, no, we we don't. <laughs> yeah. No, he's la I mean, Circuit's laughing because it's right. I yeah, that's from the tap. That's from the tap blackness. What the fuck? You can't go. You can't say. Ah, oh, Elena doesn't count. Elena is from a tri is from an African tribe. Yeah. So I remember, it was probably written by a white dude who hasn't gone out in three years. Yeah. We all. Well, not <laughs> three years. <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's just. It, it was just written by an idiot who didn't do his research and got caught with his foot in his mouth and didn't have the courtesy to say, sorry, I made a mistake. He didn't have the courtesy to say he was caught with his foot in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Makes it all the funnier. Oh, wait. I'm also fucking forgetting Birdie is black. Oh, oh yeah. How did, how did you forget Birdie, man? No, no, uh, actually. Well, Birdie. okay. The only reason I, I the only reason I didn't remember Birdie was because because uh, I barely played Steve Fryder. So yeah, that's, uh, that's bad. Well, right. man, he's really he's, he's kind of like a, one of those weird ones. He popped up here and there, but nobody really uses him. Also, I have to say this: I am proud of Angry Joe for making a board game with the Street Fighter characters. Because that man. He said, I want to make a board game. He actually got Capcom to say yes. Well, it wouldn't be too hard. It's not the first time there was a Street Fighter board game. Granted, he hmm. has big models that are all pre-painted. So, yes, it is actually expensive. So, But then again, okay. with quantity. Where is... Hang on. Sorry, oh. I'm fighting a lot of tiny spaces up here. Yeah, I find a way. I I did my best to spray it all down, no, but something just. Fine second. It's one of those things of some of the detail 
Yeah, so... So... Six will be the new, new generation. Six, another new generation, where we try to replace Ryu again. And fail. Well... Well, at this one, I think they're going to try and make Luke, make Luke the uh, the fucking the the go-to for Street Fighter from now on. The new you, the new you. Maybe that's why they make Ken into a bum. They're just trying to get eliminate any possibility of Ken and Ryu being the uh, the flag characters. We've had these guys for five five uh, games. We need to replace them. But for six in the single in the single player, I better be able to see fucking Cody. Given like he's now mayor of Metro City. No, that that would make total sense. It would only take a complete. Oh wait. Actually, I I could see that. I could be. It'd be even funnier if it ended up you see Cody and Hagar beating the crap out of each other. Was Hagar the uh, previous mayor of Metro or? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh -huh. that'd be Okay, this is, huh? This is interesting. This is okay. This is actually a miniature golf course with a jump, a true oh. jump. Oh. Okay, I see the dragon that will probably be saved for later. Oh, there you are, Suki. Sorry, I've been focusing on this that I'm just not. That looked around. Okay. Okay. Hep, hep, pussies. They didn't. They didn't want to put a full rainbow in here. Wuss, wusses. But I rainbow. What, what is that? The rainbow. That's broke. The rainbow. Feel the rainbow. Get sued by the rainbow. Court the rainbow. Consolidate the rainbow. Okay, that's enough of that. Non-disclosure of the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the rainbow 30 days, 11 months out the year. Harassment suit the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Restraining order the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're doing it. We're being Child it's custody the restraining the order. Child custody the rainbow. <laughs> Right, don't you know, question it. Don't question visitation. It. Visitation rights. The rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Ask the rainbow why the rainbow keeps on speaking of themselves in the third person. Put plea, plea, plea the rainbow. <laughs> you know what? I tried pleading the rainbow. Court marshal the rainbow. <laughs> Didn't work. Don't plea the rainbow in Texas. Ra rainbow in contempt. <laughs> Contempt the rainbow. Contempt of rainbow. <laughs> you know what? I found it funny that irreconcilable differences the rainbow. <laughs> you know, I found it funny that no one's tried this in Florida and played the bowling for soup song "I'm Gay," and it's meant to be I'm saying I'm happy, or I am content in that meaning. But it also does lampoon the other meaning of gay. What? Yes, I am serious. That is a bully for soup song. What? You're, you're basically telling me I'm surprised some, somebody hasn't done this and, and I'm just like sitting here. Why? Why okay. would uh, they do uh, that? I okay, there's actually one justification for why he's bringing this up. Okay. <laughs> Don't say gay. Yep. Oh. Oh! Oh. Yeah. You can't say I'm saying it because I'm singing it. No, it, yeah, I get, I get the, I get the drift. Yeah, that, that'd be funny. Still kind of messed up reasons for it though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if Which they're I, doing messed up reasons for it, go ahead and say it. So fuck them. Yep. 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 But. By the way, I do have to, yeah, and it's one of those things where I get the I get the premise of that law, mm -hmm. I get the idea, and I kind of agree with with the basics of it. I I don't I like if I had kids, I don't think I would want to trust the teachers with trying to 
explain that. I'd rather I'd rather explain yeah. it. Yeah. But at the same time, it exists. You can't just legislate the word away. Yeah. Because that's the yeah. But I mean, it's like you know, it's way yeah. overreaching for what it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. Like really. Yeah. It's just, so like, so, yeah. so even if if even if you don't want the teacher saying it, like there's a lot of people who aren't going to say it to their kids. Somebody has to bring it up to them. Yeah. As it should be a normal word in our lexicon. You shouldn't. It, it shouldn't be the take team, it in. To be honest, if we're already expecting way too much of them and not giving them enough at the same time. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. the, I actually feel bad. Yeah, but, the yeah. but like what they're trying is a lot more overreach than what they're trying to prevent. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, I can understand if it was, like, maybe the school district decided that, hey, let's not do this, and basically made it, like, a regulation with the teachers themselves. That's one thing. Hey, governor. A governor, a, a governor from a party that's starting to do a lot of other stuff like that right now, too, so. Like, with the new stuff that came into Texas recently. <sighs> Unfortunately, that's a whole nother kettle of fish. Yep. I got right. Seriously, though, I, I do wonder at times, especially given the month we are currently in, if some people are just going to have a Spotify list with every song that has gay but not in any way that people are saying, no, don't use it in. Like, even the Flintstones theme of have a gay old time. I... It, mm, I don't know. I think you might be... I think you might be I know I might be point. going too far, but also it's like... If you go ridiculous to show how ridiculous something is, maybe people will listen. Not really. Not, not all the time, no. Sometimes I'll just get irritated because you're going too ridiculous. You know, make, making a joke with a point is one thing, but continuing to joke about it loses the point. So when it can be, you know, it's the same as knowing when to to cut off cut off a joke. You keep the same joke going, eventually it loses its impact, and it, it doesn't even have the same t same tone anymore. It just kind of becomes an irritant. I understand that, and why I'm. I only think of this mainly because it's like like a freedom of speech issue at that point. That can be another whole thing. Okay, let's see. So 7th whole flooring is done. That's part of the border. Okay. I got most of rocks. hundreds and hundreds of rocks. Spot was bugging me. Maybe it's someone with better eyes. What the hell? Stand up. Yeah. There we go. Alright, I'm up to the 8th. I love that you have to bank it off that shield to get into the hole. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, just let. By the way, just let me f finish this. Just get, go do I, other I, other I, things. I understand. I understand. Um, like I was literally start. I was literally starting from hole one. Was gonna go through all the holes. Yeah. That's why I left the holes completely just alone. Leaves. Just leave. Yeah. Well, apparently Toa did. Apparently Toa didn't. I apparently didn't get the memo. Hey, Pacha. Nope. No, I did not. Uh, you, can, you can help me with the giant pile of rocks here. They're almost done, but I can't miss. I can't find the last little bits here. Just let right. Suki play with his holes. Okay. I'm not at a hole per se. I'm at a divider, literally, a, like a a thing that leads to the top of the castle. Really. Oh, right there. Yeah, there's a big pile of rocks right here. The exit rocks. I. Found it. You can see. Okay. Right in that corner right there. Oh, I'll go ahead and let you uh, finish it off then. Okay, because that's why I found it. And there's more down here. And I'll get back to the entrance floor here since this is um, needing a good spray down. Uh -huh. 
damage on me before. Hmm. Oh, there it is. By the way, did you guys hear about Colbert, some of Colbert's people being arrested for trespassing at the cat? Uh, dang it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't read too much into it. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw that. I just saw that something happened. I'm. I'm sure they'll get it all cleared up, and it's probably just something yeah, stupid. Yeah, they did. It's the other part of that that, you know, the loonies. Oh, they're always gonna get loonies. No, I mean a comparison to January oh. 6. Okay, hang on a second. As what, I said, what am I? Loonies. What am I not seeing? Yeah, kind of little loony. Okay. Yeah, there was something here that I saw another. What the crap? I s oh wait wait wait. Okay, there was something in the ninth hole. Hang on. Let me go to the list here. Okay. God damn it, it's in alphabetical order. Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. Ninth hole, small flooring. Yes, yes. Ninth. Wait, everything on the ninth hole says it's done. Then what did I What did I see that was a... It was a small thing. It could be the moat. It could be the moat. That was no, no. I did no. I just got that. Okay. I did find that. Something came up. Oh wait. Did I see? Oh, did I accidentally see cave wall behind there? Okay, I might have actually accidentally. Wait, wait, wait. Cast some kind of castle thing. Oh, it's. A, I think it's one of the parapet walls. Oh. Well, somebody didn't see that somehow. Yeah, it might have been me. Okay. Oh, that's what the wood cleaner's for. Okay, that makes sense. Here we go. Oh, hey, the, oh, the gnome was just up here? Yeah, huh. it was actually in the ninth hole. I moved it out to clean it. Ah. It was in a tunnel to the in the ninth hole, though, not at the ninth hole. Okay. So... All right. Okay, and this exit rock is being persnickety. Okay. There are actual working models of of V8 engines. That you can make on your own. Yeah, sweet. Wait. Okay, so it's somewhere along the ways. Oh. Okay, and Okay, hang on that bat. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I saw something there. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Aha, that wall's done. Yeah, I might have got the exit rocket, which no, which way you could probably. No, got a minor tick, so it's probably something uh -huh. hidden. There's something there. So I'm going to let people with either better eyes or some way of seeing what I cannot.
plenty of stuff over here on floor number one that on hole number one that needs uh, normal spray down because soap's not going to cut it literally because I don't have the right soap for it. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think her legs are bending from the leg. Come on, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Come on, come on, come on. Get, get, get you. Ah, thank you. Oh, I already come with a little oil, oil filter. Okay, try saying that again in English. I said <laughs> Okay, sorry, it's just... <laughs> he was a I decided, I decided, sorry. No, I decided, no, I decided, I decided to use the PG version of what I was gonna, what I was thinking I was gonna say. Um, now let's try, uh, never mind, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I just, my brain just drank the thoughts. No, it's all good, it's all good. We chill, we cool. Yeah, we I got there, there. I finally got there. And I only, I only went PG because we're on Circuit Street. Well, I'm yes. also technically streaming, but I don't know who watches me, so... I was about to say, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I kind of don't give a <laughs> But I am also yeah. kind of not an overly cursy person. I am. I'm just trying to make keep myself, my language cleaned up until Everfree Northwest, just to make sure I don't fall into a ha into habits. Oh, yeah, because... Everything has to be PG, so yeah, we are definitely going to have to have that need in a off-site thing. For you think? There's... Okay, the video, the video's in the um in the backstage. Right. Awesome. Okay, I okay. got the courtyard raised floor, and I'm working my way on down. Okay, there's something on that bat on that battlement wall up top that is just some reason. Is evading and it's just making me mad. I feel the same way about the exit rock because I don't know what it is, but it is tiny and Ooh. I freaking hate it. Seems weird because it's so much area on that. Where? Oh. Yeah, so much area, so it has to be something we're not noticing. Apparently it's along along the top here for one. It seems to be the outside edges of these of a lot of these things. Got it finally. Fuck you. Also, hang on. Yeah, do to me being broke. I have I gotten into the hobby watching model building videos. There we go. Oh, you poor son of a gun. I got into it's that. A, it's a fun... Uh, no, no, that's a fun hobby. To, that's a fun th thing to get into. You know, yeah, watching you hobby. say, I stop running them, you get money, and you stop buying them. And? Oh, it's fun. And what then you don't have money anymore. Well, You're back to square one. Oh, I found the exit rocks part. Thank you. Yeah, I even I could find both it. Of us. It was, li it was oh. literally this. It was right here. It was over here. Damn it, yeah, I it was, knew it. Right I knew it. I knew it. I should, didn't look far enough. I knew it. Okay, so I got... Okay, so the battle... Alright, so the battlements wall is finally done. So... I'm on hole seven issue. Let's see. Then, you know what? Maybe I'll... Uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and continue with this wall here. Ah, got that. No, let me up. Let me up. Let me on to here. D nope, nope, nope. Aha. You know, maybe when I go to Japan, I'll probably pick up a few gun plus. Oh, they are rather cheap there. Uh, I would recommend the high grade line simply because they're smaller uh, and you don't have to worry about much. Uh, 
also there we side. Go. Target should have some gun fly. I think it's only the Battle Log series at the moment, but that's a lot of customized and kick bash gun fly. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, oh, never mind. I got that one. Okay. Uh, circuit. So pretty much circuit. Real quick. Uh, past. Uh, if you're if you're going on the wall past that rock, I'm not sure if I've finished. Uh, also yeah, like this rock. Also, oh. si, if you look at Target, they should have an exclusive RX. Oh, they got the Castle Keep wall. Yeah, it was it was above it was above one of the rocks here. Is what was left. Speaking and of which, I see a little spot right above that rock right there. Oh wait, like yeah, yeah, just a little tiny spot right on the tip. Oh, I see it there. It yeah, I think it's done. The granddaddy okay. as the painted in the American flag colors. Cooper Tilda, I actually prefer. I actually prefer Barbatos. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, in the bat log, there's also. Ah, goddamn. Old Gundam Get up there. Get up there. Which is basically do, 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 do. a Barbie with a special hip and a another half of a Barbie. Let's see, castle keep. Oh, that rock is not done yet. There we go. Okay, up oh, that rock is not done either. Why is this night so dirty? It's a dark night, oh. that's why. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll give him credit on a pun like that. Okay, so it looks like the rocks all the way around are done. So, seems like the main castle is pretty much. is. It seems like it's done, but I'm not sure. But you know, I can't. I can't be 100% sure, certain on that. Uh, some of the walls yeah, I think. I think getting the uh, getting everything else at this point would be the best way to determine that. Yeah. Make things easier to, to figure it out too once we do. Okay, I'm going with wood cleaner to take care of the fence and everything. Uh, yeah, let me get my short extension on. Uh, silent. My best advice is to visit a Gundam base. Side F or uh, Yoko Hama, I believe, with the Gundam Factory and the Giant RX and the 8 2. Yeah, it depends on like, where I stop by for my Japan trip. True, but I think they're only getting guided towards at this point in time. Oh, okay. Oh, these are all the same piece. Okay. And then until like next year. Okay, so. Yeah, he's, he's, he doesn't have to worry about it for now. Alright. Hopefully it gets better. And circuit, you're still trying to do. You talk. You were talking about the Exo Primal Beta. Yeah, that's it. At least I hope it's still going on right now. Sign ups, anyway. I am probably going to semi no life when Gundam Evolution goes live again. I had fun with that game. Here we go. All right, get this side. Uh, oh, yeah, good. That's done. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's literally like eight. There's literally like a fence panel. That's one piece of. That's one piece of wood and like a tenth of another. <laughs> so here's the thing from what I'm getting. Exo problem is basically what was the um. He said yeah. Basically. Uh, evolve. Uh, yeah, evolve the one um, one monster versus four hunters kind of situation. Yeah. It's PvPV. Yeah, that's basically evolve. Hopefully, it's better this time. Oh, um, uh, asynchronous multiplayer. Yeah. No, it's. Uh, it's asymmetric. Uh, so, so evolve was asynchronous multiplayer. You have. One character versus five characters, no, 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 no. but the one character so is basically overpowered compared to the five characters. It's Similar to... V, it's 4v4 versus, like... It's 4v4 versus, like, enemy. Okay. Oh, so... A pack of monsters versus other players, no. and then... And, like, basically father monsters. No, I'm gonna assume it's I'm gonna assume it's two teams of humans versus one giant monster. Multiple. No. 
Yeah, it, it's a swarm. You face a swarm, and it's ba basically it just looks like a swarm of. of um, and I'm not caring about that. I'm more. I'm more of like the uh, dark tide. Okay, I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna stand on the dragon so I don't uh, so I don't hit the dragon. Hey, why are they fucking calling this exo problem? Why not call this? Because don't they own? Isn't uh, Dino Crisis theirs? That's why I'm yeah, kind of curious. Um, what? They oh. mentioned that they meant, they mentioned that on Castle Super Beast too, which is why don't they just why don't they just make it a Dino Crisis game? I honestly don't know, and I feel like it, it might have started life as one, and they just made it a different IP for some reason. Because they they might have gotten cold feet thinking that it thinking that it wouldn't sell as a as a Dino Crisis IP. Mm. That could have been. Yeah, that is I can see that. So it would be awesome oh, if they actually had Dino Crisis characters pop up in it. Oh my God, Circuit, look back here. Hold on, hold on. What is off? Whoa! Oh my God! Hold on. Oh shit! I shouldn't do that. Okay. 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 Hold on. In fact, hang on. Wait. Here we go. There we go. Just don't don't use soap. Don't use soap. <sighs> I'm not. I'm the only one that can use soap. Yeah, I know, but it's still because uh, I knew you were here. So. Yeah, I stopped. I stopped. Oh, there. What's what's over there? All right, hang on. No, I I just got to use weakest. I got to use weakest of this. It's not coming off otherwise. And circuit. Did you pick up oh, um, no. rise yet? Rise. Yeah, Monster Hunter. Oh! Yes and no. I have it on Switch. Uh, I might okay. get it on PC. So yeah, that's, okay, that's all of it. That's all the drawings. It's $30 right now. Ooh, that's, yeah. that's that's just neat. Yeah. I, I, I I'm gonna leave it, I'll leave it alone for a bit here. I'm uh, actually going to move it. You know what? I'm kind of missing all dragon. Let's see. Well, let's see what happens. It, they, let's see if those are... Let's see if those go away if we finish the rest of the walls. Because I don't know if I, I don't know if I was actually cleaning them or not, but. Oh, I'm going to do the floor underneath. I'm careful not to touch it. Dragon. Okay, hang on. I got to jump on the dragon, to then do this. God damn it! Hang on. Wait. Maybe if I stand on the highest point of the dragon. There we go. Aha! Fuck you! Okay, that's a separate cave wall. Got it. We almost got the cave floor done. We might be able to actually clean it up without touching the dragon end at all. You know, if this was actually an orange dragon, I would say, hey, they put Commander in the game. But no, it oh, is, it is a red. bad dragon. Wait, I thought Commander was red. No, he's orange. Nah, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's orange. Yeah. He's more onto the reddish. Reddish and, orange, but yeah. kind of a burnt orange kind of situation there. Yeah. Okay, we're really close on the cave floor, but I am not finding. I'm having a hard time finding any spots that aren't. Um... Oh, this counts as cave wall down here? Are you serious? Oh. That explains some stuff. Okay. That explains everything. Got it! Yeah, apparently I hit it. It was over here. Oh, that works too. There was also a big black, black spot I was going at over there, so. Yeah. Get out of the hole I built myself. By the way, how is your Minecrafting short? Not too bad, though I'm not Minecrafting right now. Are you in no man's I am... guys? No, I'm still having a round I'm still in the recent rounds of um satisfactory. I started a new facility because I had an idea for organization and I want to start doing it that way from the beginning, so. So, can you get no satisfactory? 
No, I can't. It's not. No, I can't until my organization facility is done. The mass warehouse where I will store everything. But can you get your satisfaction? But I can't get no satisfaction. Okay. Yeah, oh, I think we've... oh uh, yeah, no wonder. Yeah, all right, I think we've done pretty uh, much all the... Uh, K is the only thing, and I'm getting that. Okay, th yeah, we've done... Yeah, we've done everything as far as the cave area over here without ha without actually touching the dragon. Yep. Okay. Oh, the stairway wall still has... Oh, right there. Probably this underneath here, too. And... Oh, that's a completely set. Okay. Ah, God. Ah. Okay, that's done. Oh. There we go. Oh, we're so close to the end oh. of this. Wait, I thought I saw something there. Oh, well, no, I did see something on this. Okay, this banner as well is going to get... There we go. Okay. Oh, this brick is... Oh, probably underneath. Yep. Oh, hey, I also got the stair... Okay, I got the ca castle stairway wall done. Good. Okay, so... We're at 96%. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there any... I guess it's just some of the things around in this area, mostly, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, like wall, this dummy. Castle walls, the dummies, like the walls and the small parts. Uh, come on, Wait, you know what? I got an idea. Let me jump up on this. And jump up over here. I could have easily walked around, but fuck that. If you can jump, jump. You might as well jump. Okay. It is. Okay, it looks like it might be on the bottom side now. Hang on. Whoop. Aha. Yep. I uh, can't figure this one out. Must be something I'm not seeing. Oh, wow, that's, like, really obvious right, right there. There. there we go. Okay, got this dummy done. Okay, anything Wait, I saw six holes something. Dragon. Okay, the inter there's an internal Oh, castle wall. wall. Okay, that, yeah, that wall. Yeah, that wall right there. Oh, I see it. Well, this is also this target is not clean, completely... Yeah, looks like, yeah, maybe around the edges of the target... Okay. Yeah, let me take a look. Yeah, let's try cleaning around these targets because it might. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. So it seemed like around the edges of the targets, it might. Was, yep, like that's done. Okay, that's done. Uh, that one is still. Yep. Okay, looks. Oh, wait. What did I, what did I see? I saw something. Oh, this arrow. This arrow. There we go. Okay, that arrow is... To, hang on. That arrow's clean. Uh, the castle wall over here that I'm pointing at. Kit. Wait. Uh, a high kitten, and... Wait, what What was the What was the mission failure? What did we fail at? You fail, because you fail. Oh, oh this okay. castle wall. Oh, well, okay, you got that. Okay, you got that. Uh, this tower. Ah, wait. Yeah, okay, the tower itself, not the not the window. Hmm. Hang on. Let me go. Let me go up. Yeah, I was about to do that. Hey, so, see, can, uh, can we get on top of this? Yes, you can. Oh yeah, I was spraying. I sprayed all over it already, but I might have missed something. Hey, so I got a. I got a tower. Well, I got a, a turret roof here. I can't figure out. 
Oh, there it is. Wow, it's actually easier than we thought. Never mind, got it. <laughs> there, there was literally just this very obvious splotch if you look down at it from here. Yeah, I can totally see that. And yeah, but I, yeah, 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 Kit, now you're done. All right. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, there's a shield on that wall. That's not done. Yeah, I see it there. We at work came by to say hi. Yeah, no, the, the, no, I appreciate it. Hope, hope work's going well for you. Oof. Gotcha. It's on oh, the wait, other there we side. go. Well, but yeah, both of them, actually. Yeah. Go. Okay, so those shields are done. Uh, nine is wait, I saw. Much. Wait, something, something ticked off when I was looking over here. Something, something showed a little bit when I looked over this way. What oh. is it? Let's see. Castle well, tower, looking, castle tower window. I'm looking, I saw a castle wall for a moment there that had a nudge, but I also got this paraffin okay, wall. Okay, internal I, and castle wall is what we're looking for. Castle, internal wall. Wait, isn't... Wait. Wouldn't that be... Oh, wait a minute. No, that's Ninth Hole Castle. That's not it. Uh, I fucking forgot Fast 9 released. Fast and the Furious 9? I mm -hmm. them, so I should be able to You know, see. considering how often they keep coming out, right. as, that doesn't surprise me as much as it should. Court, oh, the weapon rack down here. That's I think that's what I saw. Something something on here is still. I think it's the weapon rack itself. Oh, it yeah, that's what I was saying. I said the weapon rack. Okay. So into oh, there we go. Oh, oh! You said? Uh, did you say parapet, or did you? Because I heard internal. Parapet. Yeah, there I, is saw, a, I, I saw. Internal. I thought I saw. I saw an internal too, but I also saw parapet. Wait, what is the? Yeah, internal? there it is. I, I got the internal wall right there. Yeah, I got wait. it. Mar Where? It, wait, which one's the internal walls? Um, so I'm trying to because I didn't ever see that pop up for some reason. Okay, wall here. Oh, found it. It's eight. Oh, it's that eight. one. Yeah. Okay, so castle internal wall. Oh, that yeah. one's not popping up. <laughs> Got oh, it. That's just, just castle wall. That's just castle wall. But got I got the internal wall just now. Okay. Okay. So let's look at the thing. Uh, okay. Keep. C -O castle keep corbell corbells. It's it's these it's okay it's these things out here. Wait. It's oh wait did I oh yeah it's this one. Is it okay, from the top yeah. maybe? <laughs> it it might be from the top. Oh got it. Okay. So. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, uh, castle towers. There's a okay. Tower one of the here. towers it's is over here. Okay. It's on eight. I think it's just that. Then you also have tower battlements and tower tower windows, which I think. Oh, yeah, you know what? There's one. one. There's that one. Uh, ventilations. This one. Yeah, you uh, should be able to click on it to get it to glow. Yeah, hang on. In this case. I found it. it the back of it. Oh, you found the cat the battlement as well. No, just the crenellations. Yeah, no, we're still missing a battlement somewhere. Castle tower window. Wait, I see, oh. I see the battlement. It's at the corner there, next to the dummy. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Dummy, since I want to disturb people today. Hup. There we go. Oh, got you, you got it. Okay. 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 Mm. Let's see. There, uh, cave. Yep. Yeah, obviously, the cave drag. Ca oh, castle wall crenel. Oh, did you did you get the crenellation? Yeah, I just got it. Okay. Uh, rip cave rib bones. That's somewhere over there. We'll we'll get to that. Oh, I, I oh, know where those are. They are cave wall. Right. Okay, cave walls. We yeah, that's that's the one with the drawings. I felt um, like giving someone a nightmare today. Courtyard so. raised floors. Oh, that's the one I missed. Okay, got the rib bone. Okay. okay. Court. Wait, this is cave. Is that courtyard over there? Uh, courtyard's up here. That's fort or forest. No, courtyard should be down over here. I think. Courtyard's courtyard up. raised floor, so it might be this oh, one. I, I, I saw something yeah. for a second there. I saw something. Yeah, it's right here. It's right here. No, so it's fifth. somewhere over here. It's over here. Fifth hole ramp. Your ramp. The ramp is missing. The ramp has a mark. Wait, it does? Yeah, this one right over here. Oh, it's oh, it's down here, on this side. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. And the floor, yep, floor up there. There we go. Okay. okay. Uh, let me see. So scrolling down, not the cave dragon. 
Uh, the cave wall, we know that. Uh, entrance pillar. Uh, probably be over here in the entrance area. Here. Yeah. That's the exit. Oh, the, the yeah, exit. literal. Oh, the literal pillar. Oh, jeez. Oh, fence panels and fence posts. We don't have those. Really? Yeah, I'm going all the way to the bottom here. Oh, I must have missed a couple. And the small forest mushrooms. Oh, gate gateway walls. Okay, I'm gonna double check the panels and posts over here. So don't worry wait, about that. What? Oh, wait, gateway walls. I know where the gateway walls is. That's over here. Gateway wall. It's oh, not this side. Goodness. Oh, wait. I saw something. Okay, I think I got all the fence panels and posts. Okay, I think I got the mushrooms. Hang on, wait. So, gateway wall is what it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. Great right, right. Congratulations. Okay, uh -huh. four stepping stones. Oh, it's on this one. Okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Four, okay. Yep. So four stepping stone, which is. Right over here. Oh, it's that one. That one that you're spraying right there. Right there. That one right there. Okay. Cave so, wall, cave dragon. All right. Okay. So what first, wall or the dragon? Let's leave the wall as we clean the dragon, so everyone get. No, I, I, I think we're gonna have to do the wall first because when we're getting the dragon, we're gonna hit that wall. There's no question. Not okay, stop. Yeah, already... stop. Except you have to clean from this side too. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye, noble cave gnome. We will miss you. It's not okay. Why, <laughs> why? Why isn't it cleaning yet? It's oh. not cleaning because it includes the floor too. Oh no! It isn't the floor. I'll oh, these it, they're combined. No, literally right over here. Look down here. You can see the dragon claws and the cave wall are literally right next to each other. There is no. Okay. It, there's no separate. All right. Well then, I got. All right. All right. Well then, I shall start on the dragon with his butthole. <laughs> I'll start with the face then. I'm on a paw. Wait, there's stuff underneath it. There's yes. Stuff yes, that's the, that's part of the wall. That's the problem. You were just saying that. No, I mean there was markings underneath it, like drawings. Oh, my apologies. Are you able to clean them up or is it gone already? It's probably gone already. We'll have to do it next time with Commander. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, there was floor. There was floor markings on the dragon on this end too. I, I got. I already soaked them, unfortunately. So they're they were already half gone by the time I noticed. Yeah, and that's why I said there's markings underneath. I had to go hide my food because I gotta get stabbed tomorrow by the doctor. Reminds me, I got. I gotta see if the if the uh, second booster shot is technique is available for people my age or not before TrackCon. Yeah. Well, I've only had the two, and I haven't been ill. No, I mean, they, they uh, started rolling out a second booster shot, but I think it's currently still uh, for the uh, elderly and... Uh, Children? Yeah. And the uh, immuno, immuno compromise, so yeah. I'm just going to double check. I, I think I'm good with my two, because I'm relatively healthy. And I've That's not the problem. Still get a third one think, if you can. I've been seeing, yeah. What are you doing? And I've been seeing way too many people getting um, sick with long COVID. Get, yeah, getting sick. So that's the one I've noticed recently is like, because what is it? So I was listening to last podcast on the left, and they had to like cancel one of their tours because Marcus got long COVID and basically didn't have enough energy to uh, actually do anything at a oh up there. Event. There it is. There we go. Yay! Free. Yay! Our souls are finally free! Hey, yeah, you can see me more or less being up top while you guys clean downstairs. Um, and with that, that is going to do it for, um, for the, for Power oh. Simulator. Oh, I didn't get to see, I didn't get to watch the whole replay because you left. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought it was done for you. No. Remember, I have to open it. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, how could you? 
Oh, wow. We're so lucky. We actually finished just in time, too. It's 6 o'clock for me. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. So that's the end of it, then. That's yep. it for Power Wash with your dad. <laughs> that's it for the Power Wash. And I'm sorry to Tsuki. He didn't get to enjoy the uh, serotonin boost. I feel bad. Right. However, um, next week, uh, well, I think next week, uh, Silent already mentioned that he may not be available, so we may not be doing Borderlands yet. We Maybe we'll finally jump at the Project Zomboid for a bit. Hmm. Let's see. It's a uh, may or may not. May, yeah, we'll figure no, it out as we go. Yeah, it's a, I don't, for me, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go, but either way, um, just uh, keep an eye out for announcements on the Discord, and we will see you all later. And those of you watching stream tomorrow on the Brony Show, we're going to, um, or, well, we're unfortunately going to have to talk about one uh, particularly annoying subject that I'm, uh, but we'll get into that. But uh, along with that, we're also going to see if we can defend the bank and see how many, how high a score we can get while, while defending a bank. With pies. Because ponies throw pies. Pie man. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. We're going back into payday tomorrow. No, there there was a little